pretty. And <sighs> good evening, good evening, good evening. We're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Oh, hello, everyone. That's my phone telling me that we're on. Oh, okay. I will silence that. Okay. Phone silence. Hello, everyone. That's my phone telling me that we're on. Oh, okay. I will silence that. Not me. Okay. Not me. I don't even have you open it. I'm just about to go there and pop out my chat. Rookie Donna, I know that look. <laughs> Rookie Donna. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, how is everybody? Good. Oh, Fabulous. I'm good. Spectacular. Spectacular. Wow, how do I get some of that? <laughs> you have some of that. I'm lying. Let me see your necklace, Larry. <laughs> Look at I'm I'm looking I'm I'm going like this like I can see like down into the computer if I look up and over <laughs> I'm going let me see your necklace ooh wow that's beautiful it looks like an Indian piece like tribal it does, huh? yeah yeah but it's uh, just fashion yeah just fashion jewelry it's just I fashion like it jewelry. you know. It's just fun to wear the big stuff. Is fashion jewelry the same as no? Never mind. Uh, oh, uh, not, what was it? Bijato, bijur, bi what was it called? Uh, uh, bijoteria. 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 I said. Whatever. No, because yeah. where you live, you have fashion jewelry, and where I live, we have sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, show, I'll, show right, you know, guys, I'll show you guys later on in the auction what kind of jewelry we have in West Palm Beach, Florida. Sometimes, sometimes we have nice stuff. Oh boy! Sometimes so, it crosses the tracks. What's that? Sometimes it crosses the tracks. Gets to your side. <laughs> yeah, we have jewelry from one side of the track, and then we have jewelry from the other side of the track. And I'm gonna have some jewelry that I found on the other side of the track tonight. Yeah. Oh, was that in the famous poker locker? Close to it. Close to it. Can I ask you why you call that one locker pew pew? Because it stunk? Is that why? Oh. Pew pew pew. pew. I, didn't, I didn't start that. That was started by, uh, by Jason. No, not Jason. Justin. Oh. Justin Grimes. He started that when he finds um, a locker that has like ammunition or guns, um, he oh. called it pew pew locker. Pew pew. I heard a rumor that you weren't allowed to say the word gun in a video because YouTube oh, didn't. For heaven. So he started calling him pew pew. Oops, I've never heard I that. Like it's not yeah. true. Oh, well, there you go. So there pew you have pew. it. Wow. It's a, pew, it's a pew pew locker. Not because pew it stinks. That's it's, what it's, I it's, thought. It's every actually time because it's it. really good. <laughs> oh, I see. My a mom pew. had a different word for pew pew. That's why I asked. Oh, what did, did something smell bad? <laughs> no, but sometimes people relate pew pew, like pewy, you know, to that. But she used to put her hair on top of her head and called it a pew pew, like a little, it's like a, like a bird, like a little birdie thingy on your head, like it just like a little fountain. It took four <laughs> minutes. Because we had so much hair <laughs> we were kids. It took four minutes for the word fluffer to end up in our chat. Four minutes. Somebody wrote it? <laughs> the word fluffer is in our chat, yes. Oh, Lord. Who wrote it? I'm not telling. All right, let's Actually, say I know I'm going. I'm going yeah. after them. I'm going to see who wrote it. I bet you it was Susan Stripper. No. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, was Frenchie. It, was it the stripper? Nope. Ribbit, Froggy's here. You're not, not going to believe who it was, actually. Tell Tell me. Her mom. Hi, honey. Joy Munkin. Yeah. Hello, beautiful Joy. Oh, KJ. Misty's adventure. Did I go past it? I don't know. I can't see your screen. Who's this guy, Petsy's? I'm no, trying to figure know. out who this guy is. 
Not sure who he is. Oh, speaking of Pat D's, he had a pew pew problem today. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. She had a big pew pew bottom problem, but a different kind of pew pew. Oh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, did he see? I haven't seen it. Daddy was scurrying behind the scenes and Robin's sitting at her desk with her chin in her hands waiting. <laughs> I'm looking to see. I'm trying to find who it is so I can block them. Oh, she's going to block them. what happened, Chris. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. How are you? I haven't seen you in a few days. I hope all is well. Kimberly Garcia is here. Hi, Kim. Just whisper it to me, Robin. Hey, Leela. Hi, honey. Who was it? <laughs> what was it? Just whisper it to me. You're going to see as soon as I get to it. Are you going to put it up on the board? I might. <laughs> Hi, Connie. All right, so we decided, Connie, 5 p.m. Eastern, Monday. That's when we're doing it. <gasps> Christopher! Ooh. I didn't tell Christopher! <laughs> Hi, Leon. Hi, honey. <laughs> Jonathan Rosemary. <laughs> at the doctor's office. I'm sorry, you guys. We were a little delayed this evening. It was girl talk. We just got lost track of time. Sorry. What women? What is she talking about? Because everybody's saying we're late. We were late. Like, real late today. That's sad. Well, I had an incident, too. I kind of still... So oh, yeah, poor Robin. She had food delivered, and they said it was delivered, and she never got it. She's starving. We've got we've got Wicca Goose in the house instead of Wikipedia. Wicca Goose. We got we got Wicca Goose. <laughs> Thank you, Wicca Goose. Hi, Susan. He's, Hi, drop, he's dropping the facts. <laughs> Goose. <Goosel. laughs> hey, Mary Mass. Hi, honey. My Google Goosel. <laughs> Goosel. Can you Goosel that for me? Yeah. <laughs> if needs anything. Ashley, call Pepper. How are you? Yes. Just call Goose. Hey, Swamp. Glenn's in the house. Thanks. Go for Goosel it for you. <laughs> Goosel it. And casual Pepper. Thank He's you, Joe. Good Gooseler. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Goose. For being such Chris, a Chris wants to know if that was a dog in your shirt pocket, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she's over there now. Yes, it was. <laughs> Robert, I don't know you know that is, right? welcome. Thanks Thank for coming in. The hearts. We've got like a million different conversations. Hi, going. Leslie. Thanks for coming. That's normal. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh, if I ever interrupted her in in. in, in saying hi to our guests on her channel. You can Boy. interrupt me anytime you want. I give you permission. <laughs> Period. <laughs> there you go. I get a look. Done, done, and done. <laughs> so what's up, Fancy Donna? Pinks. Fancy Nancy is here. How you doing, Donna? What's that? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Hi, Jojo. <laughs> I feel kind of good. I just woke up from a nap. Yeah. Me too. Nice. Did you? Yeah. We napped together. <laughs> oh, man. Robin talks about four minutes in the chat before somebody mentions that. It's like two <laughs> minutes in the chat before we, like, just lose control. <laughs> You're welcome. Before the auction just goes in a completely different direction. Jabby's treasure. How are you, Jason? Where did Laurie go? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> ran. Renee, I got your text today. I didn't respond. I'm so sorry. I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Let's get her away. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Hello. What did you say about me? I, I was wondering where you went. We were just chit-chatting, and then you, like, you just got up and left. Like, didn't say anything. Uh -huh. You were just, like, gone. I Hi, yeah, I was afraid we scared you away for a minute. <sighs> Robin, I'm what are you going to do? I, I reordered it. He's the new oh. guy is picking it up. It's a different name. So that's good. Okay. Although I wouldn't be too upset if the first guy did it again because one, I would be able to talk to him. Be like, yo, you left my food at the wrong place. Or I hope you enjoyed my food. All right. <laughs> hey, Jane. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. 
Hey, Margo. Good to see you. Janine's here. Hi, Janine. Ooh, ah, crochet. Miss Amber, thank you for coming. 65 of you guys here already. Thank you so much. Right, Talbert's mom? <laughs> Chris, did you read this this whole big thing Chris wrote with the locomotive? You read it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course I did. I knew you did. That's why I called him Wicked Goose. <laughs> Instead of Wikipedia. <laughs> I know, Don. Isn't it terrible? I'm sorry. We really weren't. We was just sitting here, but we were jibber jabbering. We didn't even realize. We looked at the clock and we were like, oh crap, we need to go live. We were all here way before ahead of time. I was here like 15 minutes early. Yeah, I sent the link out early today, too. Robin was here like 20 minutes early. Robin was here first. Robin's always here first. She's so on time. She's like me. Let's corporate. She always looking for that one. I'm, I'm chronically on time in life. She's always, always 30 minutes early first. There's, there's a saying, especially in the military, if you've if anybody's siblings or was military, if you're on time, you're late. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah, we know Lori. <laughs> Lori got here at seven. <laughs> well, maybe it was a prior. Maybe, maybe a minute before. Five. Five. <laughs> Actually, Lori was three hours early, but <laughs> if you wanted to <laughs> not go by the time zone. Did you see what James says? He says use DoorDash instead of Uber. I've, you know, I this I, the last time this happened, I actually banned them for about six months. Is, oh, Uber, yeah. is Uber less expensive? Uber. Yeah, and it's quicker, typically. Hey, Bill. Hey, Dawn. Thanks for coming in. Ooh. Betty Webb, nice to meet you. <laughs> I apologize if I missed somebody. Bobby Pizzelli. Hi, honey. Um, my chat went a little nuts there for a minute. So sorry. Oh, but yeah, James says DoorDash does reimburse for lost deliveries. They do. So does Favor. And I, like I said, I've had this happen one other time, but you're talking in how many times? Like 300 times. So, I mean, it's not a huge problem. It's just... Did you pay by credit card or debit card? If you, if so, can you dispute the charges? That's what I'm doing. So I'm ordering the identical order right now so that everything's identical. And then I'm going to tell my bank that I got charged twice. See if that works. Yeah, and what really sucks, and I find that crazy too, but I guess they're not employees of the restaurant or the place that you order from. So really the place does have no kind of... Yeah, they did their their job. Right. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. How are you? And Sandy Brown. Hi, Sandy. Good to see you. You know, this guy texted me like he's supposed to. Oh, okay. So yeah, I have two pending charges for the same amount, so I'll just contest one of them. <laughs> All right, so what do we have tonight, Lori? What are you bringing us? I brought you a variety of things. I brought you mainly jewelry, I know it's a shocker. But also um, in the jewelry realm, there's some Native American jewelry, which I love. Um, brought you some brooches and a lot of brooches, a, a lot of brooches, not a lot, but they are a lot. And um, a jewelry jar. I do have some books that are, oh, what are they called? Dr. Seuss. I have Dr. Seuss book. Um, and... Yeah, I think that I got, I sold all my um, Father's Day things. So oh, that's gone. 
and uh, mainly jewelry though so i know it's a shocker but okay <laughs> right good what are you bringing so we can... your crazy um other side of the railroad lot donna <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> I have a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to grab. I have just... a lot of stuff. I'll have books. I'll have yarn. I'll have clothes. I'll have plush. I'll have, I have a really, really neat, um, it's a leather tooling. It's so? like, it's a huge, enormous of, I was going to post it on eBay because I don't know if there's a market for it here, but I think that if someone buys it, I'd like to sell it in one huge lot. Um, it's all the devices for leather tooling and a whole bunch of leather. Oh, wow. That's expensive. Really yeah, and it's old. It's it's like vintage. It's very, very old. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to debate. I'm going to show it to you guys for the simple fact that it's really unique and really beautiful so that you guys can see it. I'll probably put a reserve on it. Um, let's see if somebody's interested in it. I mean, some of these, some of the devices are like really, really super awesome. But anyways, I have that as like my special lot of the night, I think. And then some other stuff. Okay. What about you? I'm going to do one or two pieces off on jewelry myself. I have two or three lots of 45s, books. Um, I ha actually have, I don't know if anybody's going to be interested in this, but I have um, a dish set by Jonas Roberts, um, Japan. So we'll see, see if anybody's interested in that. I might even have uh, a couple of just, I might, I might throw a little, uh, a little dibble or something together because I have so many mismatched things that it's just easier to do it that way with all this thrift store stuff. So Shady also, just came in the house. Hello, Shady. Fancy okay. pants. Hi, Tammy. Tammy's here. Donna also came in the house. Um, Flipping Frozen. Susan Arrington. <clears throat> hey, Katie. guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you, Shady. Thank Come you. Down. Jenny's here, 1964. JRKR. Hi, Jenny. Where's Ronnie? I don't know. I haven't seen Ronnie. You know who else I haven't seen, you guys, uh, in the chat? I don't know if you've seen him around town. Is um, I haven't seen Jose. Oh, yeah. Anybody seen Jose? He yeah. hasn't been anywhere. Uh-uh. Yeah. You're right. Hi, Willow. Jose. I, I mean, I have his phone number. I could always call him tomorrow and see if something up. <clears throat> I'd like him not to be popping in somewhere. Who's Shay D talking to? She's Me. talking about Robin. She's yeah, she's mad her food um, was sent to the wrong spot. Mike Newsom, hello. Hey welcome. Mike, thanks for coming in, hon. Lisa Schuenberger, hello, welcome. Hi, Lisa, thank you guys. Hey Don. Jose has been really busy working his buttocks. Okay, Don. Don, how are you? I hope you're good. I hope you're well. Bowl as well. Yeah, Joy, I haven't seen him around in weeks. Yeah, it's been a while since he's even been over on chat. Yeah, she's hangry, Talbert's mom. <laughs> I know that feeling. Definitely. All right, we're going to have an auction. Let's have an auction. All right, Lori, you know the, the drill. You'll do a couple, then we'll go to Donna. Then we'll see. Okay. Teal show maybe okay. one or two, and then we'll see. All right. Okay. All right. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Okay. So the first lot is going to be brooches, and um, it's a little bit of everything, a mixture of brooches. So I've got them on these, these little thingies. There's uh, two new ones from Bombay and Company. I used to love this company. I'm so sad that they closed. Anyways, there's two in here. Um, the box on the outside is rough looking, for sure. It, it looks like cleaner got on it or something. But, are we going to um, start this lot off at, Lori? We're going to start this off at $30 because right. it's a lot of coaches and they're all, name them all. Oops. So <clears throat> there's these. And then there's these. Can't 
see. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Vanessa. Then there's these. Oop. These spiders. Aranias. Now, there's um, something strange about these ones. There was no, um, they're still stuck on the phone, but there's no, um, like, the, the, you know, the little safety piece on the end. Okay. Hey, Kevin. $30. Kevin's going to start us off. Never-ending saga. Thank you, Kevin. Aren't these cool? Look how big they are. Wow. I love spiders. Okay. I love spiders as far as jewelry goes. I don't know why. I think because I used to be a goth kid. So there's that one. And well, I'll be praying for you, honey. If you want to talk ever, I've got a husband that's had plenty of those procedures. That one. And John Wester, flipping frozen. And those are like in gunmetal gray. Then we have, um, let's see here, we'll show this. So there are some name ones. Uh, this one is Sarah Coventry, this big butterfly one. Yes, yeah, see, Mike Newton there. says, yeah, those spiders are the best. They don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <huh? laughs> and they don't burst when you squish them. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that one's Napier. I think that one's Napier also. I'm pretty sure. I just checked it. Um, this one is, it's really big. I don't remember what this one is. Okay. It's not Hallmark. Um, oh, God, just in at 35. Welcome, Tony. Then there's this one. Now, I like to wear some of the big brooches as necklace pendants because you can put them on a necklace and literally wear them. So I'm just going to take some of them off and show you. Like, this is probably one of my favorite. You can wear this as a pendant. It's a rhinestone frog, an aquatic frog. All right, 40 now from Neverending Saga, 50 now from Christopher Chatworth. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Kevin. Then there are some smaller ones, but I'll, let me go to this other one. Um, I didn't test if this was silver. I don't think this whale is silver, just so you know, but I didn't test it either. This is a sunflower. Um, this one is, I, this one would be silver plated. A lot of them were silver plated back in the day, but I didn't test it. I'm going to say no. And then this one is excellent condition. Uh, kind of looks like a Monet. Tony's in and at 55. A, this leaf one up here. Oop, opposite. That one and this bird one is my favorite too. Yeah, that one's pretty. Vanessa even says the bird is so pretty. Yeah, it looks like a sparrow. I guess it's a sparrow, perhaps. <coughs> Isn't that pretty? Nice and big. Nice tail feather. <coughs> Shaking the tail feather. Um, then there's this one looks like a Monet, but it's not. It's a newer one. Most of these are all stainless steel. Really good condition. Um, and then I threw in a couple of pins. So this is a pin. And there are two little owls perched on a little branch with like the moon behind them. That's a pin. This is a pin. It's like a little, I, I don't remember what these were called. They were like in the 80s. I don't remember what that little bear was called a, a paddington one? paddington bear no i don't think it's paddington oh i love paddington though but no i don't think that's paddington it doesn't look like it no he would it's paddington like had the raincoat right yeah yeah yep um this is a female little bear hey and there's Fern, a rhino turns in at 60 tony now at 65 rhinestone g I don't know if you can see that. The G. Kevin is out. Christopher's in at 75. Okay. Then I'm throwing in this, which is abalone. And I wasn't sure. It's from Mexico, which is my favorite. It's sterling silver. Abalone. Um, I was going to wear it as a pendant, but I decided to put it in. Oopsie. 
I, it could be a tie tack. Yeah, it looks I'm like not, it could possibly. But it's marked Sterling and Mexico in the back. And I just think you put on a necklace. I was going to wear it as a pendant because I love abalone. But I'm putting that in there. Tony Dodge is the dating now. The Sarah Coventry butterfly is huge. Wow. It's 85 now from Fern. Thank you, guys. It's marked. Sarah Cub. And, okay, let's see. What other one should I explain? I'm going to throw this one in just as, just to throw it in. It's just a matte gold. It's not, it looks like a Monet. It's not, but it has a little bit of scratch on it. And that's why I'm just going to throw it in. If that doesn't bother you, there are a couple of scratches. So right here, oop, opposite, right there. Right here. Yeah, but there's ways you could wear that. Like even if you wear a scarf or a hanky or something else, you could put that right in that little crevice like that and nobody ever see it. Or wear it like that on a necklace. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's pretty big. It's a big so that one's going in there. Um so these. And this is such a cute little sunflower it's a matte gold really pretty and this whale one i don't know i feel like i've seen that before but i don't know where mm, it looks familiar tony comes in at 90 christopher now with the benjamin 100 to christopher thank you and See, so don't forget these. These are brand new. <laughs> yes, Frenchie, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Really pretty. I love spider jewelry. I don't know why. I just 110 now from Tammy. I'm good, Leon. Thanks, honey. Thanks for asking. Appreciate everybody asking. I'm much better. And just depending on where it goes, I'm going to throw it in another one, too. But I'm not sure I put it. I thought All right, I had to put the sheets out. We got Tammy in at 110. Okay. If we reach a certain number, I'll throw in a Mexican sterling silver one. All right, $10 increments at this point. We're looking for 120 now. Looking for 120. Napier, Sarah Cub. Um, All right, Fern's in at 120. Thank you, Fern. Tammy, Christopher, let me know where you guys are at. Thirty to Christopher. Hey, Carla. How are you, honey? These are rhinestones. You can't really see very well. Um, hold on. Let me grab one fifty now to Tammy. Oh, Christopher is out. Okay, one fifty now to Tammy. All right, I'm going to throw in something else. I don't know if that's any better. I don't want to unhook them on here, but from here. Hey, let me grab what I was going to throw in at this price point. Awesome, awesome, Carla. Awesome. Okay. This is from Mexico. It's been tested. These sell really well online. I don't know why birds sell so well online, but it is sterling silver. It's a toucan. I haven't even cleaned it yet, but I'll show you. It's this toucan. It's sterling silver. They sell amazing on eBay, Posh, Macari. It's marked 
Mexico, 95, and then the Hallmark, which is EFF. And I'll show you the back. All sterling, pretty thick. And I will clean it. By the way, the best way to clean your vintage jewelry is an eraser. So you see how dirty this is, right? The tarnish. Let me show you, because a lot of times the chemicals out there will ruin your vintage jewelry sometimes. What about so the cloth jewelry? jewelry? Yeah, that's okay, but you don't want to run it over your stones because that will take the polish off of your stones. Oh, good to know. Yeah. So I use just a cheap eraser. Look at the difference in this. On the back, you can see the difference between the beak, the body, and the tail. Look at the color difference. Nice. And right, that's with myself an eraser. Yep, just a little eraser. <laughs> I've ruined two pieces of jewelry, <laughs> and I will never forget that. So my dad's like, you should have used an eraser. Oh, yeah. See, Mimi Resell says, what a great tip. Great tip. Good yeah. Tip. I'll get this nice and clean, but for the most part, it's a lot cleaner, shiny. EFS, Hallmark, Sterling. Um, these these can sell for like fifty to eighty dollars. Just this piece right here. Nice. They I don't know why they sell so well, but they do. So, so that's going in. Okay. Put it on here. Okay. If no one else is bidding, we can. All right, yeah, we're going to go once now to Tammy. We're going to go twice now. Fair warning, last and final call for $150 to Tammy. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Tammy. Congratulations. Thank you, Tammy. I will wrap everything very nicely and label everything. <laughs> oh. Tip? <laughs> okay. Let me put this aside. Got the tip. <laughs> Did you get okay. your food, Robin? I'm macking down on it now. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Not to give away where it came from. You already got your food? Wow, yeah, that was like I said, it's normally very quick. That's why the first guy taking so long was ridiculous. Wow, that is. Okay. Yes, Leon. Yes. Hey, D says I'm she's gonna be an angel tonight. Do we want to believe that? <laughs> I don't know, Shady. I don't know if I can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> um, let's see here. Should I do Ruby? Rubies? Amethyst. Cool. Oh, let me do. Um, yeah, I wanted to show this last time. So I have some. Right, hold on. Ooh. Okay, hold on one second. I forgot to write this down. One fifty. Brooch set. Thank you so much. Tammy Ray or what? Tammy the other Tammy? No, it's Tammy Ray. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tammy. So this next set is, um, um, oh my God, I'm just having a brain fart. <laughs> um, tanzanite. Oh my God. Tanzanite. It's an earring and pendant set. Now, whenever my dad has sets like this, that means they came from the same post and they all, so the same rock. So they all match in color. Um, let's see, it's an 18 inch. We're going to start this off at, we're going to start this off at a hundred and it is platinum ionized over sterling. It's the necklace, which is an 18 inch and earring set in tanzanite, really nice color. And the earrings, uh, let's see, how am I going to do the earrings? I'm just like that they're french clip earrings dangles they match 
the pendant, sorry, in a second here. Those are the earrings, they're all prong set tanzanite. And then that is the pendant, it's new. Uh, let's see, platinum ionized over the sterling, which is a heat treatment, it will not rub off. So these are, this is really, these are beautiful tanzanite, the color prong set pendant, and I'll measure it, but the chain itself is 18 inch. And then there are the matching earrings. So let me put it side by side so you can better see it. Oh, let's see. So this is the pendant necklace and these are the earrings. Super beautiful. You can see that periwinkle blue color, all prong set. This is the back. Nice and open, so it lets it breathe. You can clean it easily. Okay, KJ. So beautiful French clip class, I should say, earring, and then the matching pendant necklace. No one's interested, we'll just say pass. Any interest in the lot, $100, ship to start. <laughs> Talbert's mom, thank you. Yes, I have the brain to at least do that, right? <laughs> okay. No interest, it's okay, we'll move on. Hey, Anna Mora. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Craig. How are you? Hi, Anna. Pass. Okay, so we got one pass. We will move on. If you change your mind, just let me know. Okay. All right, so it, do you want me to do a third or just yes, the two? Yeah, no, do, do one more. One more? Okay. Let me put this back in its box. I don't know where I put the box. All right, the next one, let's do. Let's do this. So, as you know, coral is, you can't die for it anymore, just like abalone. All right. Hey, Kim, thanks for coming in. Okay, honey, no problem. Good to see you. Enjoy the vacation. What we have is what we have. Um, <clears throat> this is coral, and this is in a vintage um, design with the cone headers. Oh, that's beautiful. And silver, yeah, really nice. Um, I will measure them. We'll start these off at 50. And let me measure the actual from tip to tip. I'm almost afraid to say that word. Uh, <laughs> whole paranoid. I saw the corner of your mouth go up when you said it, too. He thought it was funny. I'm afraid to say it, though, because I know you're going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Me? What? <laughs> She's too busy eating this, so I, I thought I'd show this now. <laughs> yeah, you caught me with my mouth full. <laughs> so... Really pretty design. It has that vintage vibe where they did the um, silver wrap on the tip of the cone and they become these beautiful silver cones. There's a lot of, um, in or not inlay, but um, they add that silver detail on top of it after the fact. It's a lot of work. These are usually like from their Native American, usually. And these are new though, new that my dad's had for a while. And um, Really beautiful. Here's the back. Hey, at the beach. Thanks for coming in. That's the front. Really pretty. Okay, if no interest, we can move on. 
They are pretty. These, I like coral a lot. Nice size, too. <laughs> One and a quarter inch in length. Christopher's asking if you know the maker. Is there? Um, there's no hallmark on it. Um, no, there's not. Sorry. Um, it, if you're asking if they're Native American, no, I can tell you they're not. Um, they are new, old new stock, but made probably, oh, I don't know. It, my dad's a gemologist, so he used to get jewelry from various distributors. But I, I know they're not Native American. Okay, we'll pass. <laughs> All right, up. hey Carlton, how are you, honey? Okay. All right. There's my three. Oh, Donna, are you back, honey? Donna. All right, grab something else. I don't know. She stepped away. Oh, here she is. Here she is. <laughs> I'm here. Right. She's out Sorry. of breath. She's here. <laughs> I know. My husband's like, they're calling you. He's in the kitchen. Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, so I brought that leather tooling kit out, um, but I'm going to start it high. I am going to put a reserve on it. Um, it's something that probably I would post on eBay, but I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to buy it. But I think it'll be fun just to show you. So everything in this kit, I think this is what he made hey gianna hey benji thanks guys all for coming in hello so there's lots of this leather um like leather pieces like this um <clears throat> so i'll show you what's in here well this but is a leather tooling kit with a lot of accessories guys okay so it's probably going to cost close to 60 or 80 dollars to ship because of the tools the tools and this and I know how Lari feels about um she's a vegetarian so I feel bad showing this tonight this is all leather sorry Lori because <laughs> no disrespect I know how you feel I should have probably waited until I thought about it afterwards after I brought it all over to the computer I'm like oh gosh Lori's a vegetarian so I'm sorry if I'm no, disrespecting you it's no, no, no. You're okay. Well, okay. It's, it's not like you went out and destroyed the per, the animal. You no. found it in a storage unit. Right. Somebody else did yeah. it. So. James Cisco says, wow, that's worth a ton. I think so. I mean, wait until you see what's here. Okay. So because of the size of the lot, I'm guessing even Federal Express is going to be anywhere from, I'm just guessing, 50 60 maybe $70 to ship. So I'm going to start this off at $200. Um, and I'm going to put a reserve on it. Okay. So you get this whole big mass of leather and it's very heavy. As far as the tools, these are some of the tools. Um, I imagine that some of these tools, these are, um, they're all like leather working tools. I imagine. Oh, so expensive. My dad has bought everything separately. Each piece is so expensive so expensive so yeah. i mean i could very easily just line these all up and put a just just this box alone filled with tools oh <clears throat> and put you know a price on it um so these are all like leather tooling tools this whole entire box and they're vintage ones which makes them even more special all right so yeah. that. okay and then there is um, probably I didn't bring them all over. There's probably about 10 or 15 of these jars filled with all kinds of, um, leather. Have a good sleep, honey. See you tomorrow. Leather tooling stuff. Um, then there's this, which it does have some information on the bottom and 
Uh, it does have a name, but it's kind of worn out. You'll have to do the research. Hi, Sylvia. But this is what it is. Laurie, do you know what this is? Uh, let's see. What is it? Uh, it's all for leather tooling. Oh, for, so when you make like um, little etching on the leather. Yeah, to make yeah. all these designs, like see all those little tiny dots? They're called grommets yeah. or punches. The, the guys yeah. are yeah. Rest of a yeah. chat work is coming in at 200. Yeah. Okay. You know what? My dad made his own holster for all his guns, and he spent a fortune on the leather, the tools. Look at the work this person used to do. Yeah. I. It's really, a, oh, I mean, it's a lot of work, and he did a really great job. He actually ordered a holster and he hated it. And he made his own because he hated what he was buying. So, so he made I, all his own pictures. So I didn't look at him. That he was a custom saddle maker with those straps. Maybe, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't look any of this stuff up. But, like, for example, there's a bunch of vintage things in here that it looks like they bought them and never completed the kits. So just the kits are alone. Like, this is a woman's bifold. It's made by Arrow Genuine Leather. And it's the whole kit to make. Um, wow. Yeah, the bifold, which is really cool. These are low, so super cool. This is the Scout. They're moccasins. It's the complete kit to make moccasins. So you, wow. there, there's a whole bunch of those in this in this lot. And um, I I have to acknowledge um, Cheryl. She keeps saying that you should really sell the leather apart from the tools. Well, I mean, if I sell it on here for what I'm hoping to get, the, the person who buys it can, you know, can do that. Break it up and sell it on, you know, their selling platform. Here is a TP moccasin kit. They're flats. But um, so there's, hey, Jim. Guess, you know, oh my God. this is, it's a very unusual lot, right? So then there's that. And then. Oh, you're welcome, June, honey. Hope it's all good. There is some belts. I don't know if he made them or she made them, but there's some belts in this with belt buckles. Wow. Oh my goodness. There's this is a rhinestone instruction. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know if it's one of those. It's plastic, it's not metal. So it may have been something that he's. Like rhinestone studs on, like a machine. Yeah. So um, this is sealed, and this is a junior purse. Um, I guess you could do some tooling on it, or I don't know. Um, so there's that, and then there's I don't know what's in here. I have no idea what's in this. This is little aluminum box is what I'm trying to open. There's more too, you guys. There's this is quite a bit more. Um, oh, I can't get it open. Okay. So I don't know what's in here. <laughs> all that for, so that's what's in there. I'm sure all this means something to somebody, right? Um, and then there is a whole um, buckles. But yeah, belt buckles, belt buckles in this lot. It's pretty awesome, right? Laurie, close your eyes. She's not even in front of the camera. Okay. She stepped there's, away. Okay. <laughs> there's this, which I think is probably a rabbit. Yep. Yeah. Um, whole bunches of like more of these sort of things, bunches of pieces of leather, straps of leather, more of these kits, tons of these kits, more of the junior purse thing, another junior purse. So it's a, it's a huge lot. Um, more straps. Then there's a file thing with a whole box filled with different files. 
whole box is filled with them. And there's more. Yeah, Cheryl says they call that a coping saw. Um, these must be like I don't. I think I don't know. They could be uh, seagull feathers. <laughs> or I don't know. I think if Goose was here, he'd be all over this. Or they could be uh, eagle feathers. I have no idea what kind of feathers these are, but they're old. And um, and there's that. And then there's, you can see how old this is. Look at how old this stuff is. Stuff has been around for a very, very long time. Um, this is a, okay, well that's the box. Snappers, snappers, and that's the device. You have to look it up. If somebody buys it, which is what I would do. But I'd rather spend time on here with you guys than do this. Okay, and then those pieces are in with this, um, this tool. All right, and then there's this is another dot snap fastener tools, another little tool thing. I mean, each one of these could go for, I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't look them up. So they, they could be very expensive. Everybody's saying they can't be eagle feathers because they're sacred and they're illegal to sell and only available in limited numbers to Native American reservations. Okay. This box has been sitting for a really, really long time. Like you can see how old this stuff is. So I'm sure those are the rules today, but who knows like years ago or where he even acquired them. Right. There's more leather. Hey, boatman, boatman. More leather straps. Hey, Susie Woozy. More leather findings in the box. And then there's one, two, three four, five of these wooden mallets. This one doesn't have, um, oh, does it go in here? There? No, it doesn't have a, and that's it. That's the whole lot. It's big. It's a big lot. Just that leather piece alone. It's a ton of leather. So we have Christopher at 200. Christopher's at two. Anybody want to come 210, 220, 230? That literally, that whole thing cost hundreds of dollars. I know. I know because I had charges. <laughs> Nobody else? If my dad didn't already have it, I would get it for him. Okay. We are going to pass. All right, we're gonna pass on it. But it was fun to look at, right, you guys? Yeah. I get really fun stuff sometimes out of storage units. Okay, let me put it all away. And yeah, just, you know, the tools alone. I mean, you just, you really have to have a passion for listing this kind of stuff too. Like, I don't, you know. It's, like, it's not a lot for everybody to list either. Something yeah. I wouldn't understand. Very, very unique. Very Christopher, Christopher is very diverse in a lot of different um, stuff. So I understand why he was interested. And Christopher, we apologize, but, you know, she did want to sell for a little more than that. And um, we appreciate your bidding. Thank you. Always, always, Christopher. I always appreciate you bidding. Are you kidding? Always. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. See, why don't you put yourself on or Lori back on? Because I want to go wash my hands. Okay. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, I'm gonna just do one quick lot because I just want to get the get rid of these. It's the last of what I have left in the first day issue stamp cards. Um I think there's only like 20 something here. I'm just going to take bids in the chat. Guys, tell me what you want to give me for these. And there's one, two, 
Three. We appreciate that so much, Christopher. Thank you. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, it doesn't say first day issue, but it's cute, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25 of them and I think yep I think that's it I think that's the end of mine and we have Dawn in at 20 thank you Dawn Donna Wester started us off at 10 Kay in at 15 and Dawn in at 20 okay Susie Woozy Christopher's in at 30 thank you Christopher Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> All right, so 25 in total. All right, Kay is out. Dawn is in at 32. Thank you, Dawn. Christopher now at 36. All right, Dawn is out. We're going to call once to Christopher at 36. Going to go twice now. And fair warning, last and final call to Christopher at $36. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Thank you so much, Christopher. Appreciate it. All right, Miss Laura, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All righty. All right, let's start off with like a little book lock. Um, <clears throat> let's see, there's one, two, three. Oops. Oh, there's more Disney than Dr. Seuss. Okay. All right, so but they're kids' books. Kids books. Uh, there's only two Dr. Seuss, which this was one of my favorite books when I was a kid. <laughs> Are you my mother? <laughs> and then um, in a people house. Those are the two Dr. Seuss books. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Disney books. We'll start these off at $20 shipped and there are 202 Dalmatian books. Was it 101? Yeah. Must be at extension, right? Like they must have did yeah. something. Okay. 102 Dalmatians. There's two of the same book. Story time? Huh? Story time? Story time. <laughs> Oh, usually yeah. Argyle will pop up when, when he hears books, we'll send a put in the chat. Story time? And this one has like pen markings on the back. I don't know if you can see the ball pen marking, but it's on the back of that one, just to let you guys know. Um, 
oh, I, I just realized this one has it on the front for the 101 Dalmatians. Has it on the front and the back. This was left behind by my tenant who um, was going to be giving these to her um, <laughs> her grandkids. Okay, so I'm just realizing some of these have little pen marks. Two of them have pen marks. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to consider those freebies. So freebies on those. Um, then the Toy Story 2. Uh, this one looks fine. Double checking. Toy Story 2. Lion King, which I still have not seen. Really? No, I know I'm going to cry. That's why I don't want to see it. Oh, okay. I'll totally cry. I already know. This one looks fine also. But I did see the quarantine um, toy or uh, Lion King, where that monkey, the bamboo, goes to the cliff and and starts yelling at the or off of the cliff, and he did a rendition of that. That was pretty funny. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, this one is Tigger, the Tigger movie. This one's fine. Um, this is Pooh's Grand Adventures, and yeah, this one's fine. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books that are fine. And then I'll add in the other two that have pen marks in them. And then we have an Ivy and Bean book, which is um, two friends who never met, meant to like each other. You know, we always have one of those friends. <laughs> and... Um, these are pretty good conditions, but I will Lysol them and make sure they're all good and clean and shipped to you. So we have a Tigger one, the Tigger, or sorry, the Pooh one, which I love Pooh, Pooh Bear, the Tigger movie. Yeah, I have to clarify myself very well on here. Uh, the Lion King, <laughs> the Toy Story 2. 102 Dalmatians. This one does have pen marks on the back, though, just so you know, but not on the inside. No. Uh, are you my mother? And in a people house. So those, the two that have the pen mark in the back. The Ivy and Bean, kids one. And... Can I throw in puzzles for um, media a lot? Is puzzles considered media? Um, what like are, are you talking about like um, a hundred piece puzzle or something like that? Yeah. Or you like puzzle books? No, an actual puzzle. No, puzzles are going to be regular mail. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so all these twenty. Yeah, puzzle Thank books, because they are still books, but um, no, toys, that would, puzzles would be considered toys. Okay. Thank you. I always wondered about that. Yeah, but like if you had coloring books here or something like that, you could toss those in. Oh, coloring books. Oh. Hmm. I might have a couple of those I'll throw in. All right. June would appreciate that because we have June in at 20. And um, no other interest, and we're going to go once to June. Okay. Let's do it. And we're going to go twice now to June. And fair warning, last and final call to June. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Congratulations, June. Thank you, June. Okay. So now I have um, some Native American jewelry. Uh, let's start with this one. So we were on coral. I'm going to do this coral piece. Now the necklace is um, sterling silver, but it's from Italy. And then the it's a cable necklace. And then the actual pendant part is... Um, uh, Mexican Native American, which is Native American. So let me see. Hold on. Let me show you in the back really quick. We're going to start this one off. Let me look at my notes because my dad 
We're starting hey, this one off at $80. 80? 90. 90, okay. Okay. So it's a nice big cable necklace. Uh, let's see, did I write it down? I think it's 18 inch. Yep. It's from Italy. Uh oh. Uh oh. You oh, it did little... freeze. Okay. Yeah, you did. Sorry about that. And then this has a nice big um, veil on top. You can put a different, like a cuff necklace or a big link necklace. Um, this one is, it, it looks, well, I'm not going to say it because I don't know, but it's not Mark Tasco, but it, um, has that vibe to it. Has that look of it, yes. Yeah. It is native to, it's Native American made, um, in Mexico, but it's not Tasco. Um, it does say Mexico and 925 on the back. And it's a huge piece of coral, which we cannot dive for anymore. We've overdived that in abalone. And it's beautiful. I just put the two together because I thought it was really nice the way they looked. And I think it's gorgeous. It has really beautiful edges. As you can see, it has a normal bezel. Then it has the braiding around it. Then it has all this gorgeous work. Hey, All John. How are you, hon? Thank you. Thanks, Gianna. Yes, Gianna. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. So it's a nice oval. Beautiful. And then the cable. You could see the marks on the cable. Really pretty. Nice, like, um, cuts in it. Kind of like opposite cuts. Thank you. And if there's no interest, just give me a pass. Hey, Paige. Hi, Becky. All right, Carla gave me a pass. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. So if that one isn't a go, we'll All switch. Right. That's a pass on that one, guys. We're going to pass on it. So we've got this one here. This is a ring. Um, this is for my dad's collection. Sterling silver. It's a trilogy of African amethyst. The size eight. Paula, um, don't please, guys. I, I, I want you guys to be honest with us. We can move on. We we all have plenty of stuff. If there's something you're not interested in, we're going to move on to the next. That's all. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Seriously, we don't Carla. feel bad. We know. Yeah. There's no sense in wasting everyone's time. So, no, don't feel bad. But thank you, Carla. <laughs> um, it's a size 8, and it's a trilogy of African amethyst. So the darker the amethyst, the more desirable, it's, as far as African amethysts go, anyway. And they're set in sterling silver. It has a 1930s vibe to it. It's new, though. We're going to start this one off at... $55 and it is brand new. So it sits a little bit higher each stone, as you can see. I'm going to try to. Oh, you froze. keep freezing. I don't know why. Nobody's even home. <laughs> I don't think anyway. It has embossing around each stone. So one sits higher than the other, the middle stone. Then underneath is like a stained glass window. 
beautiful nice. stainless steel really pretty size eight has a very like i said kind of an art nouveau feel to it like from the 30s and these are big prong set amethysts african amethyst so you see around the silver there it's embossing around each stone Francis is at 55. Thank you, Francis. I know you love amethyst. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yes, Tammy. Very pretty. Um, did you say, better um, like that. Did you say it was uh, sterling, uh, not sterling, uh, stainless steel? So pretty. Trilogy of the African amethyst. Laurie, can you hear me? Donna, can you hear me? And one's a little higher than the other. Robin, can you hear me? Are you still there, T? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Well, she can't hear me for some reason. See if she can hear you. Can you hear me, Laurie? Okay, if there's because no other interest, other than Laurie? Francis, Nothing. You can hear me. Okay. No, she, can you hear can us? Can you hear T? I can't hear T. Nope, she needs to you go can out. Hear can you me? type? I don't know, Lori. Yeah, I could hear you and I was talking. So let's try this Can again. You. All right. <laughs> you hear me now? I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can put me on. Tea. I'll show something. Okay. <laughs> Oh, unless she is she just leaving and coming back, or is she gonna reboot? What is she doing? I don't know. We'll see. Give her two minutes, only because we're in the middle of this bid, and I'll call it first on the ring. Let's see. T hit the yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> look at Robin. Hmm. Uh huh. I'm there first. <laughs> this is where she's staying, you guys, when she comes down. <laughs> okay, I'm going to confirm that, Susie Will Woozy. Did she say sterling? That's why I kept asking her, is it stainless or sterling? And she wasn't answering me. All right, here she is. Yeah, her, her video, your video is very choppy this evening. I don't know if you want to restart and try coming back in all together. It's, it's very, is it choppy on your, on you guys' end? Yeah. Yeah. It's very choppy, Laurie. Laurie, can you hear us? Yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. So right. is it choppy now or is it, is it, cause I left and came back it's in. Been, it's been like that since we were in the green room. Like maybe you really? need yeah, maybe you need to restart your computer because, or do you have multiple, um, do you have multiple, um, multiple, um, I'm on my phone now. Coming into your house? No, I'm actually just on, oh, nope, I'm the only one here. No, um, but do you have, let do you me, have, um, maybe if I turn my phone off and come back in. Okay, I'm going to show something while you do that, and then we'll go back to your ring. We did have a bit on it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so I have a jar filled with it's jewelry, uh, makeup, not jewelry. It's makeup. <laughs> I was say, that those look like eyelashes to me. <laughs> um, these are shelf poles. So from like different uh, department stores, there's uh, there's perfume in there also. Um, I'll show you some of the pieces. I did sell one of these to someone and they said that some of the makeup had been used. Um, I can't guarantee that all of it is untouched and not used. They are shelf poles. So you're going to have to determine yourself. But like you, for example, you can look at this and you can see that's, you know, this is Clinique. It's brand new. You have the palette number. What's it called? Bubble gum? Bubble bath. Um, so, you know, as far as reselling goes. So, like, for example, here's another one. You can see it's, you know, brand new. You have different, like, masks in here. Um, you have $25 to start, you guys. 
And then like, for example, this is lip gloss and you open it up, you can see it's never been used. Um, I did not look at everything to see if things have been used. This is MAC. Um, it doesn't have a seal, but I don't know if these come with a seal. I have no idea. Some of them don't. I bought a lipstick the other day, and it, it I the way you open it, it's like anybody could have used it. I was sorry that I did, you know? Yeah, it didn't have a seal on it. No. No, right. So I don't think MAC puts seals on stuff. So it's just going to, um, you know, you guys are just going to have to, uh, if anybody buys it, if anybody bids on it, I don't know how to open this up. This is, um, I think, Clinique. I'm trying to open it up to see if it's been used or not. I don't even know how to open it. Isn't that crazy? Oh, okay. Here we go. There you go. So there's that. And that there's the, the tools for it. So... <clears throat> I'm going to put those back in and I'll show you the jar. $25 is a lot of makeup here. Um, and all different brands. I have no idea what these things are. Let me see if I can reach in and grab one because there's several of these. I have no idea what this is. Can anybody read Chinese? HJFC. But um, these are sealed. The seal has not been broken on them. So you can figure out what those are. But there's some of those in there. All right. And now I'll show it. Whoops. Anybody want sparkly eyelashes? <laughs> Don Bargain Hunter says, gross makeup. Gross for you, honey, but some people like it. I'm sure you like your ladies in a little makeup done. <laughs> makeup is expensive. Makeup is expensive. Two pieces of this June makeup. Dinner 25. Would cost a lot of money. Donna Wester's in at 27. Twenty nine now from Kay Flanagan. Let me see if I can move this thing here so you can see more of like what's in there. Oh gosh, there's another one. This is um, clay mask and. Oh, I thought that was the label on the jar. <laughs> huh? I always thought that was the label on the jar. Hey Dan, how are you tonight? Thanks for coming in. You know, I'm trying to move these. I'm trying to move these masks out of the way so that you okay. can see more of like... 31 now from Joy. What the different makeups are. Hey, Julia, Julia. How are you, honey? Hi, Julia, Julia. Just a whole lot of just different... It's like a jewelry jar, but <laughs> just makeup. There's soap. All right, Christopher's going to come in at 36. Thank you, Christopher. Thirty-eight now from Joy. No, it wasn't Love Baby Soft. It was a mask. <laughs> 40 now from Christopher. Forty two now from Joy. Forty-four now from Christopher. Joy wants those. 
The eyelashes, yeah. With diamonds. <laughs> With the diamonds on it. <laughs> no joking, Joe. Oh, Carl was saying the bottle on the bottom upside down. What is it? She wants to see the bottle on the bottom. There's no bottle on the bottom. Smart box. Oh, that black one? I don't know. I don't know what she's saying. Do you? No. Expensive me to buy. Yes. Makeup is so expensive. Just eyeliner alone is so expensive. It's like, you know. Me neither, Joy. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> All right. Joy's going to be out. Christopher's at 44. <laughs> me neither, Joy. <laughs> Maybe it's that's the bottle she's talking about. about. Baby soft perfume. Oh, I don't know. She did say there was perfume in here. Yeah. All right, let's call it. We're going to go once to Christopher at 44. Going twice now. Yep, I know, Christopher, me too. Chris, just like me, said he spent a fortune on his mascara. <laughs> Kate Flanagan now at 46. Mascara can be very expensive. I'm curious what those Asian bottles are. I have no idea. You'll have to like take a picture of them and yeah. do a, a search on them. But they're sealed. Oh, down from Mary Ness. They're not opened. All right, Kay is out. And we're going to call it to Mary Ness now at 48. Yeah, that's what I thought, Carla. Some kind of anti-aging serum. Really? In the in the Asian bottle? Yeah, yeah, probably. All right, we're gonna go once now to Mary Ness at 48. $32 a tube. How do Girl you know twice now? How does she know that? Does she know what it is? Oh, I don't know what she's talking about, $32 a tube. She said that before the anti-aging serum. And fair warning, last and final call to Mary Ness for $48. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Congratulations, thank you, Mary. Mary. Mary, thank you so much. And I'll put that together with the tissue box covers that I'm going to be sending you. And I'll send it all together in one lot. Um, so that's lot number one, makeup, Mary Ness, $48. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll show a quick Christmas DVD lot that I have. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me show this. This is a really awesome lot. Um, <clears throat> this is a huge lot. This is a great lot because you can post it once and just keep selling them. And it is golf club grips. This is what it is. Golf club grips. See? So what does it go over the actual club? Yeah. So golf clubs, they deteriorate like good, yeah. ones, good ones. Oh, okay. yeah. So this is, um, yeah, you put this over. It's a golf club grip. And I have a whole entire case of them. I don't know how many I have. But let me count. Let me see, real quick. I'll count these. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it's eight. So there's, uh, eight clubs per set. So, um, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and you can sell them in either sets or 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let's do these at $50 to start. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. There's a lot of them. 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. Is there any interest before I count them all? Fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, six, seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one. Sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy. Is there a brand on them? Um, this one is called Ping. Seventy. I don't know what I'm out. This one is called Grip One. Which is 71. That one. So several different names. That's 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Ninety plus a few more. Let's call it a hundred. Let's call it a hundred. And um, Andrea Baker, grip one is. All right, Connie starts us off at fifty. Most of them are grip one, and then there was some pings in here. Christopher's is in at seventy-five. What does that say? Grip Tech. Grip Tech, easy, easy grip. grip. Made in the United States. This one is. Putter Grip. Ping. They need to be wiped off. They were in a storage unit. Golf Pride, good lot. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Okay, we've got Christopher at 75. Anybody else? For all these grips, it's different colors. There's blue ones. There's You can lot them up in eights if somebody wants to do all of them, or you can just list them one at a time. People can just, you know, sometimes they only need one or two. Yeah, no, our belly is lagging big time. And, um, yeah, maybe you can put it in the thing yeah. that's uh, yeah. lagging. And is there a brand? Yes. This one seems like it's really dried up for some reason. It looks like they put it. I'm going to take this one out because it's all getting all over my hands. Looks like they maybe threw one that they replaced inside all these brand new ones. But these are brand new. This, I don't know what it says. Okay, BR Bailey is out. We've okay. got. All right. she, I think she realized it. Or, okay. All right, we're gonna go once now to Christopher at seventy-five. Going twice now. And fair warning, last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Christopher for $75. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you so much, Christopher, for the grips. And Christopher, there's somebody in the chat who was interested in buying a lot of eight. 20. Okay. Oh, no. Eight of a lot of... Uh, no, I thought they said I'd be interested in 20 of them. Oh. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe eight for 20. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm interested in 20 of them. Yeah, that's what he said. Is um, Laurie back? Yes, yeah, so let's bring her in and see if she's better. Uh, Laurie? Laurie? 
I hope Am you're I muted, Lori. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Am I better? <laughs> Is it not a hundred percent? Really? Hmm. I'm the only one home using the Wi-Fi, and I rebooted my modem. And no, I think she's phone. better. You, you don't think her voice is lagging? Top Am I lagging? A little bit, but it's okay. It's much better than it was. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. We're going to so, go back to the ring Lori was selling. Donna, I have to step away for a minute. Can you just help Lori with this ring? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, size eight sterling silver, all African amethyst in the Art Nouveau setting. Lori, we had Francis at 55 on this, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Susan's asking the size on it. Um, it's a size eight. It's a size eight, and the bid on it was uh, fifty-five, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we had fifty-five from Francis. Okay, Francis, can you put your bid back in the chat, please, just to confirm it? We've well, got Susan, Susan at sixty. Okay, go ahead, T. I got it. All right, thank you. You're welcome. We got Susan at 60. Michelle P would like to know, is it for is it sterling? Yes, it's sterling silver. And Mark all of my friends told me that sterling is nickel free, just to let you know. And it's Mark925? Yes. Okay. So we've got Susan at 60. The next bid that we're looking for is 65. Is anybody interested in $65 size eight African amethyst? It's beautiful. Very beautiful. African Amethyst. 65 from Francis Marlowe. Thank you, Francis. Susan, you want to come in at 70? Is there anybody else? Michelle P comes in at 70. Michelle P loves the ring. Our Australian neighbor. Oh, Very beautiful. All right. <laughs> Very beautiful. My last, my last item that I sold to Michelle P, and this is up to you. Susan's out. I did a private sale over eBay um, just because of uh, having some problems with shipping overseas. So I just did a private sale through eBay. Do you have an eBay store? Uh, not a store, but I do. I usually sell on eBay. But I just put it as a gift, and then I list the price, and then I had everything go through. I just had a package go to Australia. Okay. You've got your way of doing it. That's good. Okay, Francis is out. We're going to call it to Michelle P for $70. Welcome back, Susan Arrington. Um, $70 going once. Anybody else want to come in on this beautiful African amethyst? $70 going twice. $70 with a fair warning. No other takers. We're looking for $75. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it to Michelle P for $70. And we are sold, 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 sold to Michelle P for $70. Thank you, Michelle. We'll get it out on Monday. Thank you awesome. so much. You'll Thank love you. it. <clears throat> All right. Let me okay. write this down. Half amethyst. Size eight. Thank you so much. All right, next one. Um, <clears throat> take a little swig of water. Um, do you guys want to see more Native American jewelry? If not, then I'll do something else. Um, uh oh. Where is she? Sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry, my little blind dog. She gets stuck in corners. And she doesn't know where she's at. Okay, I'm back. She gets stuck in a corner and then she just cries. Okay. Baby. I'm going to. I know, my baby. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> okay, so you're starting. Um, you've got Native American jewelry and you're starting it at how much? Um, I have a few pieces. So I showed you guys that coral, but this one is different. This is a Navajo piece. And. Um, it is a herringbone chain 
We are starting this one at, oh, where's my, here we go. No, it's a Zuni piece. And we're going to start it at $100. So a lot of silver. It's spider web turquoise. It's a Zuni piece. Okay, we're starting at $100. And this is two pieces that you're going to be showing? Yes, yeah, so two okay. pieces. Okay, um, the chain is 925 silver? Yep, this is all, this is a herringbone chain. Uh, yeah. What size is it? It is, a, I'll measure it. I didn't measure that one. Okay, do um, you on it? No, nope, I can do that too. Okay, uh, this it comes in at 100 Okay, this is probably an um, old pond. It's a Zuni piece. It's spider web. So you can kind of see the, the webbing in it, yep. the yep. white. Beautiful. We got Francis right. in at 110. Okay, let me go weigh it. I'm gonna weigh the necklace first, and then I'll weigh the pendant. Cause show us, the turquoise show turquoise. us the second piece while you go away and, and weigh them so that they can see what the second piece looks like so they can mm -hmm. debate whether or not they want to continue bidding. Okay, you guys, okay. here's the second piece that she's got coming up. We've got $110 from Francis at the moment. Okay, this one is, um, this is also Zuni. Um, these are called, wait, let me make sure. <laughs> this is, oh no, sorry. It's an old pond Navajo pearls, they call them. It's all sterling silver. They can range from like, eight hundred and fifty dollars to over a thousand dollars um so i do have a reserve on this one for sure okay. and it is these they're called pearls they're all like welded together by hand okay and the 1930s my dad believes but it is zuni so you have the pearls that are welded two pieces together and then the smaller pearls the bugle beads which are hammered into a form and it's all sterling and it's zuni so i'm gonna go away i'm gonna weigh both of them and is that are those beads threaded on a sterling silver chain is yeah. it a chain yeah okay yeah okay so you see you can see the chain here okay yep i see it okay and these are awesome. curls. okay let me go away both of them all right, you guys, two beautiful. Sorry about the dishes in the background, you guys. It's uh, it's the bewitching hour here. Um, so it's uh, we've got um, two beautiful Native American pieces, and we have a hundred and ten dollars from Francis Marlowe for a high bid. One has that beautiful stone. The other one is sterling silver. Um, both of them are sterling. She's gonna go weigh them for us right now and get the length on them i just want to yeah. thank everybody for being here tonight thank you for coming out 125 dollars to jill jill's yeah. loving them um hey benji welcome hello hello um it would have been nice if she had them separated well she's selling them as a lot now so people have already, we've already got bids as lots so Okay, what did you come up for a weight? Hundred and fifty dollars so, from Benji. All right, this is one ounce. So if someone can convert it for me, because I don't have one that converts to grams. Okay. But it's one ounce of silver. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, this one is. Um, the other one was from Italy. This does not say. This have like a little hallmark. I just can't. Um, I don't know. It's like a bullseye, but it's not Italian, but it's like butter. It's like butter. Better than butter. Butter. That's how yeah. I say it. Butter. Butter. Yeah. Better than butter. Okay, guys, we've got Benji at $150. And this weighs half an ounce, but that you have to calculate the stone. There's a whole science to creating uh, the calculation for the silver and the stone, but it's half an ounce for everything. It has a nice big bale. Okay. Um, this old pond, which I don't know if people are familiar what old pond means, but
but it, it's when the Native Americans would pawn their jewelry and they needed supplies like food, ammunition, whatever, so, you know, just living supplies. And then they couldn't go back to claim it. So they sold these amazing pieces after the fact, and they're called Old Pawn. And so what, what, kind is of the actual, what is the actual stone? Um, this is spiderweb turquoise. That's amazing. It's beautiful. Hey, Gary. Thanks for and being here. Isn't that the same stone I sold you? It looks so. It looks so familiar. It looks like almost. I don't know if you remember that necklace that was. It was bluer than that. Hers looks a little green to me. No, Tammy. They're being sold together as one set, and we have Benji at one fifty. Over one and a half, or almost one and a half in length. And there and is it, a reserve on them. Huh? You said there's a reserve. Yes, there is a reserve on this one because this is a Zuni piece that's old pawn, which okay, is- Okay, wait a minute. Let me just let me just understand something. Are you selling these separately or together? No, I just wanted to weigh it separately because one is solid silver and then the other has a stone in it. So to get the true weight, I mean, it's hard to do that when there's a stone that big. Okay, you wanted it, to weigh them separately, but are you selling them together? Yes. Yes. So two necklaces, one price. No, no, no. Sorry. Okay. One necklace, one pendant. Okay. All right. So they are being sold separately. Separately. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said you were showing. Okay. So we need to show them one at a time. Yes. Well, okay. I thought you should oh, show the other piece that you want to sell while you're weighing it. So I, so I showed it, but that's a whole nother piece. Okay. That is a piece. Okay, so so you're bidding on this piece, you guys, one piece. Yes. The necklace and the large pendant. So just this one, the next piece coming up, I was showing separately. I'm sorry, I thought she wanted me to show that separately. So you can see the veining when it's broken up like that, it's called spider web. And um, it's a Zuni piece, it's indicative to their style. And then you have the pretty herringbone silver necklace. What's the length on this necklace? The length is so it looks like eighteen, but I think it's closer to twenty. Let me take it off the almost 20 inch it's just over so it's like a 20 inch okay. hold it up please as you were to put it on so like Okay, so like this. Okay, hold on. Like that. Make it a little closer. Is that what you mean?
Okay. So I'm just going to try to put it on, like pretend to put it on, but let me take this big thing off. I have a big piece of <laughs> fashion jewelry on here. <laughs> and I would say it's like a faux Native American design. Uh oh, I can't. Oh, here we go. I'm not trying to get risque or anything, but <laughs> oh, sorry, showed a little, little cleavage. Pardon me. Okay. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> okay. All right, boys, settle down, settle down. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh oh, little, yeah, whoopsie, little's right. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's not included with the necklace, boys. <laughs> oh, dear. Nope. <laughs> so it's a lot of times when you get the serpentine, the kink, but because this is a, like a herringbone, like a double herringbone, it doesn't do that. It's just smooth, and it's a nice big pendant on it. All right, Elizabeth. we've got 160 from Music 55. Who wants to come 170? 170 now from Benji. Yeah, really pretty. And if you don't, if you want to sell the pieces separately, now you, using 55. because it's such a big bale, you could put it on a neck cuff. You know, those, those that like kind of just go around your neck. Um, it's nice and big, the bale. It could take a big chain. But it's a turquoise and it's the fact that it's an old pond piece. Really beautiful. And you could see the spider webbing in it. So it has this white underneath, just beautiful. The crackling of the turquoise. Any letter so on the back? Is there any letter on the back? No, um, a lot of times because this is a very old piece, um, they didn't stamp their, their pieces because not even Sterling, 925, anything. Because hey, they didn't want to get charged by the government and tracked by the government so they wouldn't stamp it a lot of times prior to the 20s the 30s sometimes even to the 40s but going into the 50s it was now becoming you know a little more acceptable um they weren't as afraid and it they became like artisans so then they started really going into it stamping their pieces but there's a lot of fear into it. That's why they didn't stamp a lot of their pieces. All right, and Mike Newsom is asking if it's been tested. Yes, my dad's a gemologist. He's tested everything, the stone, um, the necklace. I mean, I could test it too, but he already did, so I didn't, I didn't. So the color is kind of like a Tiffany blue, like a light Tiffany blue. I don't know if that's coming across in my camera, but. Hi, Teresa Faulkner. Um, Caroline is saying that um, the stone um, is not sealed, so fingerprints and lotions can harm the stone. So the care is important. Yes. Yeah, so. It, well, it's polished. It, it, it's actually sealed because it is polished. 
but you never ever want to take your cleaning cloth for silver and go over it because that will ruin the polish and even if it's polished regardless sealed turquoise it oxidation is going to happen on turquoise turquoise will turn green with time that's just how turquoise is so you have to remember this has been unearthed and made back in like the maybe 20s to 30s so it's going to have a little more of the oxidation but that's when you know it's more of a very you know like a vintage piece all right benji is out um we have music 55 at 180 is there any other interest in the necklace francis is out so lori's gonna have to tell us if we are selling this piece or not well my dad had the reserve at 200 so if you if Miss Catherine, if you want to go to 200, then it's yours. <laughs> it's up to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're going to love it. No, she says no. Oh, no. Okay. Nope. All right. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate everyone for bidding. Thank you. Okay. Was that my, that was my second piece or my first piece? First piece, because I got chopped out. You had the ring. Oh, right, right, Francis right. Francis wants so, to give you 200 for it. Okay, thank you, Francis. Thank you so much. All right. Let me write that down. Okay. All right, so Francis, we are now cold. Thank you, Francis. All right. Um, let's see. How about a coral ring? This is an old ring. This is also an old pawn ring. <laughs> uh, no, this one's not. Sorry. This is not an old pawn, but it's a native ring. And it's coral. It's a size. It's a size seven. Michelle, honey, she'll invoice you. Yes, I'll invoice you. Um, if not tonight, then tomorrow morning. So we're going to start this one off at. Size seven. We're going to start this one off at $80. And it's a beautiful square setting bezel. And then a big chunk of coral. This is old coral. So um, hopefully you can see the true color of it. It's actually a very nice um, red orange. Size seven. Yeah, that would, that would be helpful. Thank you. Um, Lori, just do me a favor. Just type your email in the chat so she can just send you an email. And um, that'll be easier if she sends you her information. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. I should have. Um, there we go. Okay. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for asking too. Size seven. Oh, there is another necklace. Yes, I'll show that next or next time around. Sorry, I got, I don't even know where I placed it. But yes, I do have that one. That one is the Zuni. Okay, if there's no interest, just give me a pass. <clears throat> I don't even know where I put it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, I brought it. Oh, you know what? I put it next to the scale. Okay, 
That's right. Michael's asking if this ring is marked. Um, it's marked 925, but it's not marked by the artisan, no. Which is some, you know, common. It is open in the back for breathing. And it's marked 925 on the back of here. Um, so my dad lived, well, he technically still kind of lives in Nevada. And there's a lot of um, native jewelry that he buys for Choctaw, but he gets everything from uh, Navajo, Choctaw, um, what's the other one? Uh, Paiute jewelry, which is really prevalent there. But he's back in California right now. I just saw him today. <laughs> All right, guys, any interest in the ring? If not, type pass and we'll move on to the next. The size of the Eight, ring? Size seven. Seven. And we were going to start at 80. And it actually is, I mean, a really nice big chunk of coral. Okay, if there's a path, all right, path. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Oh my gosh, I just got my sleeve in my water. All right, do you want um, to show that other necklace they were asking about? Okay, sure. Let me yeah, let show me the other that. necklace they were asking about. You starting okay. that one at a hundred as well? Um, this one, yes, and. This is 1.5 ounce. Now there's a reserve on this one too. This is a Zuni one, necklace. 1.5 ounces. So that's like over six, like 60 something grams. Okay. Um, these are called, I'm sorry, not Zuni, Navajo. Um, Navajo. These are called uh, pearls. These are welded um, two piece. They're all handmade. All these pieces are like little half cups that they weld together in silver and this goes this goes for quite a bit you can check them out online they range from i don't know it can range quite a bit um 800 to a thousand but i am gonna leave <laughs> i have to leave meat on the bone for you guys so i do have a reserve on this one but um this is the last of my dad's like these are this is it he doesn't have any more of these. These are called Navajo pearls. And if you look them up, it all varies because it, it really depends on the, the um, you know, the quality, but it's all sterling. So you can see that it slides on the necklace. These are called bugle beads, which are handmade. They take like a tool where they form it around the, the, the stick, basically, the pole. Uh, there's a name for it. I don't know. But even these small little ones, they're called pearls. They are cupped together and soldered in silver. So it's a long process. And it's sterling. And it's sterling. It's a 24-inch. Sorry, I didn't say that. 100 music 55. Are there lines on the pearls or are they smooth? Oh, you mean like the eyelashes? Um, no, there's no eyelashes and they are smooth. Let me see if I can get my. Yeah, let me see if I can get you guys to see. Well, they're smooth.
Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Jill, we have music 55 at 100. Would you like to do 110? Looking for 110 now. Okay, well, we, um, so I saw what Chris, Christopher had to say, and that's fair. What is this email from Ronnie G? How are you, Ronnie? Hi, honey. Hi, Ronnie. Um, so that's totally fair to ask for, let's start at the reserve price. If you guys want me to do that, um, I can definitely do that. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, we have 150 from Ronnie, so let's just keep this one going, and next time we'll, we'll okay. change. We'll change that up if 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 we need to. 150 now for Ronnie. And this is Old Pond. Who's so coming 160? It's Navajo. Yes. Navajo. It's Sterling. it's Sterling. These are called um pearls, Navajo pearls. These are bugle beads. They're all handmade. Um, this is an old pond necklace. So once it's gone, it's gone. My dad doesn't have any more of this right now unless he were to go and. All right. Francis came in at 160. Christopher is now at 200. Two Benjamins from Christopher. It's a 24 inch. And it's really beautiful. It's really a part of history because Old Pond, if you kind of look up the history, it's really fascinating. A lot of the Indians needed to turn in their jewelry that they made. They were not marked because they didn't want to be. They didn't want to be in a reservation. They didn't want the government to take their money because they would on pieces. And then they would just sell it, you know, or take it to the pond, but they couldn't pick it up. They just never had the money to do that. But these, I mean, they just don't do this anymore. Now, um, in Mexico, they made a different version of these. Um, and they weren't worth as much. And I don't know why. I don't know why. But they're, they're called something different. So sometimes people call these watermelon pearls. All right. So Music 55 is out. Francis is out. Uh, we have Christopher at 200. Ronnie G is out. Any other interest? We have Christopher now at 200. Anyone want to come? 210. Jill is out. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Francis, Jill, Ronnie G, Music 55. Thank you very much. Are we selling this to Christopher at two Benjamins? It's got more of a reserve on it. Should I just say it? Yeah. If he's the only one left? Okay. This way, there's no one left. If anybody's interested, then um, we'll sell it. If not, we're going to Donna. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for your compliments. Thank you, Chris and everyone. So the reserve on this piece is 300 But you can, it goes... These pieces go for anywhere from eight to thousand to fifteen hundred, um, and it's if you're not interested, Chris, that's totally okay. Okay, thank you, Chris. I appreciate you all bidding, though. At least I know what you guys are interested in. Thank you so much. All right, so we're to Donna. All right, thanks. You're muted, honey. You're muted. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this little CD lot real quick. Um, kind of working on some behind-the-scenes stuff, too. So I'm going to start this at $10. See if anybody wants it for $10, okay? I'll show you what I got. Guys, I'm live. Shh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Tis the season, Vince Gill, Olivia Newton-John, all Christmas, all Christmas, old-fashioned Christmas, $10 to start. This is how many I have. I'll show you the total, and then I'll show you the titles. All Christmas, and now's a good time to be posting this stuff. And this one here, get ready for Q4, and... 
music CDs and music CD players are trending right now. For some reason, I don't know why people are buying them and they're trending. All right, Connie's Books and Things is in a 10. Julie Clark is in a 12. Connie now at 14. Elizabeth at 20. Have fun with it, you guys. Good. Contemporary Christmas Catholics. One close. Joy to the world. Oh, the girl Trinity. Whoops. Thought that was falling. They're in great shape. All Christmas. New thing. Christmas Wonderland. Comfort and joy. Okay, that's the whole lot. All right, Elizabeth's in at 28. That's what you get. Nice reseller lot. For sure. Elizabeth is out. Fern's at 30. Connie is out. All right. We're going to call it. Julie, you're out. All right. Thank you. Going once to Fern. Going twice now. And fair warning. Last and final call for $30 to Fern Darling. And we are now sold. Congratulations, Fern. Thank you, darling. All right, I have a very unusual lot. I'm going to see if there's any interest in it. It came in a record lot that I got. Um, hold on one second. Where was it? Oh, goodness. Huh? Hold on, Ricky. Okay. It's... um. So, yes, I don't know how you would list these. I don't know how you would post them, but I'll show you what I got. Um, I'll start them at $25, $25 shipped. It's a lot of them, and I want to sell them in one lot. So let me, let me start them at um, $35 shipped. <clears throat> okay, so they're Chinese. You guys, not only Chinese. Oh, uh, somebody speaks it. Somebody speaks um, the language. I'm sure Mandarin. Somebody speak it in the in the chat that can help us out here. This is probably Hindu. That yeah, that that doesn't look Mandarin or anything. But the first one does. Uh, that could be Japanese, actually. They're like all different. Yeah. Yeah, that second one was definitely Arabic. This is Chinese. Yeah, that, that's Mandarin. That's Mandarin for sure. I bet they'd be really neat to listen to. That one's Yeah, Arabic. that other one was Arabic, yeah. The Arabic even? I mean, I grew up listening to Arabic music. Right? They're pretty neat. All right, guys, relax. I think I have the same album. That's so funny. Arabian Delight. What do you think, guys? Is there any interest in these? Somebody was into listening to Middle Eastern Middle Eastern music. I don't know if they're valuable. It's going to be all the same lot, Don. It's going to be all the same lot. No, not with the Christmas CDs. The Christmas CDs are sold. <laughs> But all these albums, $35 shipped. Hey, Ed. Ed Jafrid are in the chat. How are you, honey? $35 shipped to start on these. Russia, Middle East, Chinese, uh, Mandarin. Got it all. It's a very unusual lot. Any interest? If not, I'll pass it. No, we have a $35 uh, bid from Christopher Chatworth. Ed Jafrida, do you want to come 37? You're welcome, Don. 37 now from Ed. I think that they're super neat. 
Well, this one doesn't belong in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's going with it. Is this country? Tijuana? No, no. Tijuana? No, no. It's like the brass, the music, like um, Herb Albert and... Latin All right, American. now we're changing up a little bit. Now we're changing it up a little bit. All cultures. We're just going to call this the old, all cultured lot. Muzak. Yeah. This is Polish. Look at imported from Germany. Oh, Germany. It almost looked Polish. It's not German, though. The mu that, that writing is not German. Ganji Farkas is not German. Muzik is, is M U. That's actually my grandmother's maiden name, Muzik. That's pretty cool. That's a cool lot. Russian. Yeah. This is like the in, the, the international album lot. Chris the Goose comes in at 40 now, and Connie's now in at 42. Yeah, but this is definitely this is definitely a uh, melting pot of records. Now look at these. Oh, these are the smaller ones. These are 78s. Yeah. And again. Yeah, Mandarin. Yep. Sabby Marie's in for 44. How are you, Sabby? Good to see you. It's got to be interesting. This is not stuff that you see around every day. I just, you know, you just got to figure out how to post it. But this stuff is... 46 now from Connie. Look how beautiful this one is. These probably came right, they probably came right from China, from all over the world. This is a very unique lot, you guys. Very, very unique reseller Kristen lot. Kristen at 48. Connie's now at 50. I almost was thinking about doing, which I might do before I ship it out, a uh, YouTube video on it. 55 now from Ed. I, because I think that it's that awesome that it deserves, like, a video. Really, Don? He's saying eBay gold mine. Okay, Connie's in at sixty. eBay what? Gold mine. It's an eBay gold mine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a video on this, and then whoever buys the lot, I will link your eBay store at the at the video in the video, so that if there's anybody that's interested in buying any of the records. I'll direct them to your store, to your eBay store. All right, Connie's in at 70. I'll 85 now from Ed. Because I think that this is a superstar lot. It's my opinion. I've never seen anything like these, ever, ever, ever. These came from all over the world. All right, 90 now from Connie. And there's the Benjamin from Ed. Thank you, Ed. Connie's now at 110. Oops. One twenty. Chris is out. We have Ed in at 120, 130 now from Connie. What's going on with my computer? Why? What's the matter? It keeps this window keeps opening up. Okay, I think I closed up. Oh no, it keeps opening up. Elements. Oh, you know what? I'm, they're on my keyboard. That's why. 150 now from Ed. Thank you, Ed. I, <coughs> I really do think it's a gold mine. Connie is out. Christopher, do you want to come 160? 160 now to Christopher. Some of the pictures are really unbelievable on them too. Yeah. Some of the graphics are great. 
Edge of Freedom now at 180. Christopher now at 200. Double Benjamin in the chat. Thank you, Thanks, Christopher. Guys. Just that alone would be pretty framed. I don't know what it says, but... Or that one. Look at how beautiful that one is. It's still in the pl plastic. 210 now from Ed. Really awesome. All right. Nice horse race, boys. Christopher's out. We're going to go once to Ed at 210. Going twice now. And fair warning. Last and final call. Right, Tammy? Going once. Right, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, sold to Edra Frieder at 210. Oh, Ed, you're going to have to let us know how you make out yeah, the ball. Oh, buddy. It's on Wednesday. <laughs> Let okay, us know. Speaking of bolo bodies, this is what I'm going to do for my next one. She just texted me. I want to show you this. So, you know, Robert, zombie bargain hunter. He, yeah, he was in. He was in. He's here? He was. I was here earlier. I don't know if he's still in. $141 new for that one of the records. Thank you for looking that up. Oh, God. How did you even know that, Don? Do you speak Mandarin? I knew somebody had to speak Mandarin. So... Oh, that's Japan, Japanese. Oh, that's Japanese. Sorry. So I got all my shipping out today except for my plush because doing the plush is a huge project. I have to pull it all out and build bots and ship it out. All of the mystery bots, all the mystery ones. And um, Courtney just saved, just sent me this. So for my next item, I'm going to give you guys another opportunity. I know I took a bunch of orders last night, but check this out. This is from Robert. Uh uh, uh, bargain zombie hunt. Uh, bargain zombie, zombie, hunter. zombie bargain hunter, Robert. Yeah. So he got this in his plush lot, and this is what he. That's what he sold it for. Look at that. Got it from Donna. Got it from me. Hundred, hundred and two dollars, and he paid fifty dollars probably for the lot. So. There you have it. If anybody wants to sign up, I'm going to be doing pl my plush lots on Monday. So you'll get invoiced and they'll be shipped on Monday. So if anybody wants to order a plush lot from me, um, I'm going to take orders for plush lots. Nice, Ed. Good. Hopefully he can help you. Four of the albums of Japanese. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah. Awesome. That's a great home run, Ed. And, and to boot, you get Donna to send everybody to eBay store. How nice is that? A little, a little extra for advertising, too. Yeah, so, so Ed, I probably won't ship them out until, like, Monday or you know, Tuesday or Wednesday. I have to do – I'm going to do a video on it. I want to do a really cool All video. All right, so yeah. Mystery Plush is $50 for a lot, and all Disney is 75 guys. Yeah, so so there's – I'm doing um, – and then there's requests. There's a lot of requests for Build-A-Bears. So I will do Build-A-Bears, and, and I'm going to make sure that the Build-A-Bears are dressed. Maybe not completely dressed, but at least two pieces of clothing. The Build-A-Bears that I have to do for 75 because when I bring the Build-A-Bears to auction, they usually sell for $75. Yeah, and, so they're they're big. Really and they're big. And they're big. And, I mean, they've gone up to – I mean, I think Joy Munkin paid 160 one time for a, a lot of Build a Bears, like really beautiful ones. So my Build a Bears are beautiful. A lot of them are shelf pulls. So Build a Bear 75, Disney 75, mixed lot, which is Build a Bear, Disney, and just mixed is 50. And then I have dog lots for 25, and I'm going to be building them on Monday. So Joy says plenty of times. I know she she has bought Build a Bear lots like paid up for him. So $75 is a great deal. Oh, and I'm sure she's kicking herself right now for that lot she was bidding against Chris with that, I mean Robert with that you just showed, right? <laughs> Did, was she bidding against that one? Oh, I don't know. I'm just joking because she's, she's, she's always bidding. She's always bidding. Yeah, because she's in the mix. <laughs> um, casual flipper, Donna, does it say how many items in the plush lot in an invoice? No. I just, I usually just, I can judge how many 
I can send for the, the dollar amount that I can send. All right, so Christopher wants two Build-A-Bear lots instead of two generic lots for 50. So he'll pay the 75 instead, just swap okay. out his two uh, mystery ones for two Build-A-Bear ones. Okay, let me change it. I have it right here. Ed, you're more than welcome. Anybody's more than welcome to type any of this um, their uh, selling platforms in the chat. If you guys want to share your eBay stores, your Posh, your Macari, Etsy, any of any of that stuff. We welcome you guys sharing that stuff. Hey, Miss Martha, honey, how are you? Okay, I've got Fern ordered. Christopher, two mystery lots. He doesn't want the mystery. He wants all Build-A-Bear? Two Build-A-Bear instead of the two mystery, yes. Okay, two Build-A-Bears. No, that's a new love, Lucinda. <laughs> All right, that's changed. And was there anybody else? Fern has in the chat one build a bail lot. Okay, if Fern, in addition to your two mystery ones, you want one to build a bear lot? Okay. Christopher Chatworth. <laughs> Look what Christopher typed in the chat. Oh, he took it back. Christopher. What did he write? <laughs> The name of his eBay store. What? Well, why did he take it back? Because of the name. <laughs> Fluffer is real. Oh. <laughs> fresh. He's so fresh. It's um, okay. It's okay. after nine. It's all good. <laughs> Build a bear. For Fern Darling, seventy-five dollars. Okay. Anybody else? <clears throat> 6 13. All right. Hey, Andrea. Hi, honey. You doing an update? Yeah, I'm going to show one lot and then we're going to go to Lori. Okay, go right I, ahead. I have a lot of DC comics. I think. Oh, wait a minute. Elizabeth is saying she wants a mystery lot. Hold on. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's um, okay. Six, Elizabeth. Um. I think there's like five here. I did count them earlier and I forgot what I put in this lot. Okay. Sun Moon Cricket wants a build a bear lot. All right. And Kay Flanagan wants a mystery box. And Kay Flanagan wants a mystery lot. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Yeah, that be. you guys are more than welcome to share your stores. I always say that. Rather, you, you're you going to buy something online. You might, we might as well buy from one another, right? Hey, Spalston. Okay, Spalston wants one um, Build-A-Bear lot. Build-A-Bear lot. Okay. DC Comics, most of them are, unless I tell you otherwise, most of them, I believe, are 1985. There might be a few that aren't, but most of them are. Um, now that Andrew I say Baker, that. Andrea Baker's ordering a Build-A-Bear lot also. This actually is 1980. Yeah, Andrea wants a Build-A-Bear too. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be playing with plush. I'm going to get my, I'm going to get, I'm going to do a video. My daughters are going to help me um, filling the Good. orders. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, All right, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, T. This is the unknown soldier, but I will tell you, it looks like somebody cut the barcode off of this one. And this one is 1979, October 1979. Then we have another um, unknown soldier here, and this one is 1980, uh, February 1980. This ball code is intact. Here's another the unknown soldier, and this one is October 80. Is that the same one? Did I say October 80? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. Then we have this 
Shazam. Shazam. And this one is, it just says volume four, number 24, spring 1976. Not in the best condition. Then we have this says special sword of the atom. This is 1985, number two. This is called Hex, September 1985. This is called Sergeant Rock, number 339, April. And April of 1980. April of 1980 on that one. Then we have a couple of Blue Devils here. May 1985, issue 12. June 1985, issue 13. July... 1985, issue 14. November 1985, issue 18. And we have, this is Crisis on the Infinite Earth. And this is July 1985, issue 4. August 1985, issue 5. Yes, Shady, I will. Um, September 1985, issue 6. October 1985, issue 7. November 1985, issue 8. This is Green Lantern, July 1985, issue 190. And this is August 1985, issue 191. This is June 1985, issue 2 of The Shadow War of Hawkman. This is July 1985, issue 3 of The Shadow War of of Hawkman, August 1985, issue four of The Shadow of Hawkman. So it's a couple of um, sequent ones, which is good too for you guys if you want to list them together even. Uh, this is September 1985, issue 57 for uh, the Tales of the Teen Titans. This is October 1985, issue 58, Tale of the Titans, or Tale of the Teen Titans. <laughs> then we have Red Tornado, issue 2, August 1985. Issue 3, September of 85. And issue 4, October of 85. Then we have a bunch of Superman coming up. Superman and Aquaman. This one is dated 1979, number five, January. Superman, March, number 345, 1980. Superman, number 331, January. 1979, Superman issue 408, June 85, the Super Friends, this is May of 1979. 
We don't have a bid yet, flipping flamingos. We're starting at 20. Superman number 337, July 1979. Hey, Bolo. Hey, Courtney. The Super Friends, 1979, November. The Super Friends again, number 14, 1978, October slash November. All right, Joe's in at 20. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Cakes Picks. How are you? And this one is 1982, Superman and Wonder Woman. But I will tell you, this particular one definitely has an issue at the bottom. It's torn. This one is number one, Legions of Super is cut out. It says a substitute hero, 1985. Legion of Superheroes, March 1981. And the last one is Superman and Supergirl, October 1985, number 86. All right. All right, we have Joe in at 20. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 total. DC, all DC, all variety, anywhere from 1979 to 1985. All right, and we have Mike Newsom in at 27. Joe's in at 29. Thank you, guys. Don, you want to go 31? Mike's going to go 31. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, John. 35 now from Shady, looking for 37. 35 from Shady, looking for 37. Joe is out.
37 from Dawn. Mike is out. <laughs> You're in a food coma, Benji. <laughs> 39 from Shady. John is out. What's the matter, Dawn? Dawn's out. All right, we're going to call it. Going once to Shady. Going twice now. And fair warning. Last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Shady for. $39. What? All right. Congratulations, Shady. Thank you, honey. All right, Lori. All righty. Hold on. I was just building this. One second. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. I, I like to make my jars pretty. This is a mini jar. This is not the end jar, but it's just a mini jar. Uh, it's a vintage jar at that. And I have earrings to put in it, but I didn't grab it. Okay, so <clears throat> this, I have an obsession with um, vintage purses. And this totally reminds me of gra my grandmother, my great aunt. Um, and, but theirs were always black. That was the one thing. And this is an excellent shape. This is going to be a lot of vintage. It's going to be the vintage jewelry and this purse and something else. We're going to start it at um, $50. Let me take out the air packs. It has that beautiful 1960s, kind of 50s, 60s look to it. It's like a sateen. It has um, one big pocket, two little pockets below it. Then it's by um, Kate Landry. Kate Landry. So my walk-in closet is a, of a bunch of dolls and purses and you name it. It zip. This is leather. So I'm letting go of my leather. And... <laughs> So it's this purse, which snaps shut. Then you get, like my little grandma would do like that. This is brand new. It's a faux fur. Yes, faux fur, because I don't buy real fur. Um, it's a collar. And I would wear this like in the winter. I never wore this one, but I did buy it for myself. It's a faux collar and it has the tie. I might change the ribbon, maybe, but it's brand new. I did wash it for you guys because I've had it for so long. So it's a collar. Is there really okay. a need for that in California? Well, I get cold. <laughs> I mean, I'll wear my flip-flops year-round, but I wear socks with my flip-flops. If I go out, then I'll wear my tennis shoes. Yes. But around the house, it's always flip-flops. And then, but look how cute this is together. <laughs> I'm pairing it with all this vintage jewelry and I need to put the earrings, which I couldn't reach, but I will show you everything in here. Um, this is vintage mother of pearl, this necklace, which I'll show you. It's all of these vintage bracelets, big bracelets. They're brass. Um, I'm not sure if one of them is Bakelite. So, so anyways, um, Laura, what did I say, Laura Landry? Landry? No. It is Kate Landry. That's the inside. Impeccable inside. It is leather. I'm letting go of all my leather stuff. Just, you know, I just want to 
let go of it <clears throat> for personal reasons. Um, the jewelry you'll be getting in it is this vintage. Um, this is from the late 50s, early 60s. Mother Pearl necklace. I've worn it, actually. I love it. It's long. You're going to get this necklace here. It's really pretty, especially if you have like a darker color on, you get that one. And these are big chunks of the <laughs> Mother Pearl, as you can see. They look like um, the angelfish fins. It's got the barrel clasp. Then you're going to get this. which is, these are all chalcedony, and these beads are chalcedony right here. And then these are um, bigger chalcedony beads. This is probably from like the 60s. And then this is a cowrie shell. And then I don't know the name of those shells, but also barrel, 16 inch on that one. Okay. Actually, I'm getting hot with this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. I mean, it's already kind of hot here. So <laughs> um, then you're going to get, I don't know if this is Lucite, to be honest. I don't know. I never tested it. I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. But it does have all these beautiful conch shells that are hanging off of it. And they're just beautiful. And it's a like a pink lemonade color. Very light pink lemonade. Then you have, this is old. Now, this one is brass on the inside, brass on the inside, and then it has like this lucite on the outside. And it's kind of like a, um, what is that called when you're interested in horses? What is that called? Um, whatever, when you're interested in horses. But that <laughs> has that sort of look to it, like a Versace um, look to it. Okay, that one. When you're interested is, in horses. What is that? The, you know, when you care for horses. What is that called? Oh, my gosh. I'm having a mental block. Um, equestrian. Thank you, Christopher. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank it's, you, Carla. Thank you, Connie. Yes, equestrian yes. look. Yes. So it has a bit of an equestrian look. This is all brass. I used to collect brass. Um, this is so beautiful. So there's that cuff, this cuff in brass. Um, this one is, um, it could be horn or bone, I'm not sure, but the white is horn or bone and brass. Beautiful. And you can see the inside, it's all that material. These are just beautiful. Okay, then. But wait, there's more. There's more. There's that one. I like this one a lot because I think this one fit me really nicely. <laughs> so there's all those plus this one. And I don't know. I don't think this is Bakelite. I just never tested it. I'm like I said, I'm not really good. Was Christopher. We have the purse. We have the faux fur. We have the bracelets, the sh um, gorgeous necklace. Yeah. And then all these bracelets that are all brass. Bracelets. And Lucite. These are old. This one in particular is probably from the 30s. Um, this one could be from the 40s. Uh, this one, I'm not sure. It's hammered brass. This one, um, it's a little bit newer, the white one. But it, it's either horn or bone. I think it's horn. Okay, then you have the horse one. Reminds me of horse like a scarf. And this one, I'm not sure if it's Bakelite. I, I never tested it. I don't know. I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. So you have all of those. These are all vintage. And, oh, and this one, the pink lemonade one with the coastal shells. I don't know if this is Bakelite or if Lucite. I don't know, to be honest. 
And this um, bell. I think this is Tibetan. I'm not sure. It's newer. But it's a newer little cowbell. And it goes with Robin's new character. Um, Maybell? Maybell? I don't remember what the name was. I don't think you guys decided this morning. But um, it's newer. It, this is not vintage. But it's a Tibetan one. That's going to go in there. I won't put it in there. So you have the collar, which is going to make me hot. Horny. Yeah, see, Connie remembers. Horny. Oh, dear. Yeah. Okay. Then we have all of these. They're so pretty, you guys. I really appreciate vintage jewelry. Brass is my favorite. My mom collected brass. So you get all of those. The Tibetan bell. The purse um, by... So this is new, and then this is by Kate Laundry, and it's all leather, which that's why I'm selling it because I no longer want any leather goods. So Christopher's in at 50, and Christopher's so funny. He used to make his mother and law wear one of them so they knew she was coming around. <laughs> <gasps> that's terrible. Are you kidding me? He's teasing. Lord of mercy. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so I I would stuff these purses in my closet and just keep them because I thought they were so beautiful. And they reminded me of my grandmother and great aunt. But like I said, I want to get rid of most of them and just keep a couple black ones that look like my grandmother's. And they are leather, really nice bottom. And I'm going to fill it with this beautiful jar of vintage jewelry um if we hit a certain point then i'll add the earrings but these bracelets alone are amazing and then all right this. Chris is in for 50 anyone want to go 55 now looking for 55 beautiful bracelets every one of them yeah i really love the white one right here that one yeah that one all the brass ones and i like the equestrian one too Oh, That's Elizabeth great. says her mom was a bell collector, and she thinks that one's a camel bell. Oh, I love camels. You know, you can't walk one down the street in Palm Springs. <laughs> I just learned that. <laughs> I don't know why. Who would have a camel in Palm Springs? <laughs> it's illegal between 4 and 9 p.m. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy, but we it is a desert there. All right, we're going to call it. Christopher's in at 50. We're going to go once. Christopher's going to get the steal of the night here. It is steal. Yeah, it really is. And we're going to go twice now. Thank you. And fair warning, last and final call. To Christopher Chatworth for fifty dollars. <laughs> what? And Me? ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Yes, camel or European style cowbell. Uh, Chris should know. Chris, where were you for Donna's lot? Thought for sure <laughs> you'd be in on that leather. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, so fifty. Oh, I forgot this one too. This is I've oh, worn it. This is this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. That alone, so, Christopher, you got yourself a steal of a deal there. But he's a great customer, so that's really nice. Yeah. So yeah. thank you, Christopher. I appreciate it. Christopher, we'll look forward to you on Bolo Buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't want to have Christopher on one night. I don't want to see what you sell these things for. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> No. Okay, Kate Laundry. Okay. I'm going to say vintage sets. Thank you so much. All right, so I have a ruby here and it's gold and there's diamonds. I forgot the I did count them, but I don't remember. They're all prong set. They're approximately let's see, one, two, 
There's, I think, like 39 or 40 of the diamonds prong set and then the bigger ruby in the middle. Oh, this one too goes in there. Okay. Um, this is new. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful necklace. It is mm -hmm. um, diamond and ruby. We're going to start this one off at $50. And it's a nice size pendant. I will measure it for you. Um, it is one inch without the bail. With the bail, an inch and an eighth. All right, Susan's going to start us off at 50. Thank you, Susan. So all prong set little diamonds all around. No, um, it's gold. Is it gold, did you say? Yes. Yeah, so it's gold necklace. The setting is gold. It's an, like an eternity um, setting, a twist setting. And let me get a little closer. But the diamonds make it look like it's white gold where the diamonds are. All those are diamonds from the top of the bale all the way down and around are all diamonds or prong set. Then you have that overlap, kind of overlap, that is, um, it's all gold, but they, it looks like white gold with the diamonds. Those are just actually diamonds. And then the middle is a ruby red ruby. I don't know if you can see the color. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, really pretty. I, you know, I never really appreciated rubies until I knew they came in pink and blue and all those colors. Because yep. I'm cancer. 14 carat. Is it 14 carat? Yes. It's 14 carat gold. Can we get a weight on it? Sure. Now, I mean, there are a lot of diamonds in ruby, but you just have to take that into account. Okay. Yeah, you could. I mean, you can maybe weigh the chain separately, but it's not going to matter much anyway. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. One. All right. Casual flippers in at fifty-five. Sixty now from Chris the Goose, and we're going to get you a link, Tammy. Okay, in total, hold on, let's do that. 65 now from Susan. In total, it's 0. 0.2 ounce. So whatever that is. Right, in I need conversion. 0. 0.2 right. ounce, 0. 0.2 ounce. Uh... An ounce is. And I'll count the diamonds just one sec because my eyeballs are gonna go cross eyed. <clears throat> one sec. 70 now from Francis. So we have. Mm -hmm. Susan now at 75. What kind of link is the chain, Frenchie's asking? Francis is in at 80. So it's probably about, I think it was 49 of the diamonds for my last count. 39. I'll have to recount it. Um, the length of the chain is. Mm -hmm. Um, 18 inch, 18 inch. And let me right. 18 that. inch chain. It's five. The total weight of this necklace is about 5.67 grams. Approximate. Thank you, Christopher. Yes, I just did the calculation myself. Thank you. Um, 100 now to Shady. Okay. 
I think it's 49. I keep losing count because they're so close together. But I think All that's right. what... No worries. Nobody's asking. 110 now from Chris the Goose. Okay. It's a nice um, teardrop ruby prong set. And then all of that white that you see kind of looks like white gold from afar. They're actually diamonds. That's what I was trying to count. So it's from the top of the bale all the way around. All right. So approximately 50 diamonds. Yeah. One twenty now from Shady. A hundred percent, Michelle P. Jill's in. Jill, you want to come one thirty? Yes, eighteen inches, Susan. Yeah, eighteen inches, fourteen karat gold. Jill's in at one thirty. About one tenth of a carat. Okay. Thank you, Don. One forty now from Shady. Did Don take a picture of himself at the hospital with um, oxygen? <laughs> I thought I, I saw a picture of him. Uh, no. No, you might be seeing the picture of Don Bargain Hunter. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that yeah. was Don Bargain Hunter. Okay. He unfortunately actually, I think, has to use oxygen as a regular daily. Oh, that's horrible. Do you know the origin of the ruby? It looks like Indian setting style, style setting. I don't actually. Um... It's teardrop-shaped. It, it's open in the back. Um, gosh, I don't know. It's, an, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know if where it's from, the ruby, but it's all open in the back. All right, Shady is in a 175 now. Jill's in at 185. And Benji's got it for two Benjamins. Looking for <laughs> 210 now. It's a gorgeous piece. Gorgeous piece. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. It's like an, it, I think it's considered an eternity. Not. I'm surprised French, she doesn't want a matching necklace for the ring she bought from me. <laughs> 210 oh. now from Jill. She bought that ruby and diamond ring from me. Oh, Two right. Remember? Yeah. I do have a ruby ring coming up, but it's not as big as yours. It's just a band of diamonds and rubies. Diamonds and rubies. It's All right. So we have Jill in at 210, who's going 220. Is that a bug on here? Oh, get off of here. All right, Shady is out. She can't work the curb tonight. Thank you, Shady. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for getting. Oh, All right, everyone. we're filling it up. Benji's in a 220. Thank you, Benji. So pretty. So, rubies are my birthstone. Are they? The yeah. January, right? <laughs> January? No, uh, July, July 21st is birthday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, garnet is January. That's right. But I prefer garnets. Or I like pink um, rubies. Pink rubies are, I don't, pink or blue rubies. Yes, John. Like. 14 karat gold, 18 inches, approximately 50 diamonds around the ruby. It's a ruby. Yeah. It starts at the bale. And it goes all the way around, 
all on both sides. I kind of lost count, but I think it was 49, maybe. I don't know. I think it was this 49. Is approximately 50. And um, we have a total weight of 5.67 grams on the piece. Yes, right, Tammy, and you have the earrings. <laughs> That's right. All right, Frenchie's in at 240 now. <laughs> 250 from Benji. Let me um let me do this. That's better. The lighting can really throw off the color. I know. Jill now at 270. It has nice weight, just so you guys know. It's not a... Yes, yeah, Shady. Lot. Thank you, sweetheart. Got it. Oh, let me back it up. Let's see. Um, Benji would like to see the back close up, and Frenchie's in a 280. Back. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Diamonds from here to here, all the way around. All prong set. Yeah, it is, Autumn. Absolutely, Miss Martha. All right, we have Frenchie at 280. Who's going 290? We're going to go once to Frenchie at 280. And three Benjamins from the Benjamin himself. <laughs> Thanks, Benji. <laughs> three Benjis from Benji. I had an animal named Benji. <laughs> Remember Benji? Didn't everyone love Benji? The movies and all of that. Yes, 310 now from Frenchie. I love Benji and I loved, um, what was the collie? What was the collie? Nasty. That oh God, I couldn't not cry at every episode. I know I'm showing my age, but they were reruns. So I loved Lassie and Benji. Oh, stop it, Ben. <clears throat> Rat. <laughs> Benji the mud and the rat. <laughs> All right, Jill's gonna fold throw in the towel. Jill's out. All right, we've Thank got you. Frenchie in at 310, looking for 320 from Benji or anybody else who wants in the game. If I get an out from Benji, then we're gonna call it. Where are we at? Let us know. Oh, you're the year of the rat. Oh. Me too. I'm here, the rat. I don't know 70. what I am. I'm 72. 
Oh, that's Pat Dees, too. That's funny. Oh, okay. A lot of you guys, then. All right. Benji, let us know. Let us know. Um, I think this is a typo there, Benji. Let me know. Light out the gem? Light up the gem? I'm not sure. Light up the gem. Let's see. Um, okay, let me see. Oh, hold on. Let me put the light on it. It's going to blind me. Mm. Boy, I'm not good at this this part here. Uh, okay. Can you get a better light on it? Let's see. I'm gonna blind my ooh. <laughs> Okay. How's that? No? Back it up? No. All you can see are my wrinkles. I don't think I can. Not very well. Um, let's see. Hold on. So the obviously the right, Benji is, comes in for three twenty. Frenchie's now in at three thirty. The middle is the obviously the ruby, and then from the top, and I mean here at the bale, all the way down on both sides are the diamonds that are pong set. Okay, there we go. That's a good color right there. It's all gold, but because of all the diamonds, it looks like white gold around the ruby. But those are diamonds. All right, Benji's in at 350 now. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what other light do I have. I'll let me try this. I don't know. No, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So not coordinated for that. Oh, let me go up here. Okay. I don't know if you can see a little better. Oh, gosh. I don't think you can see that. I don't think you can see it. All right. Benji said, sadly, I'm out. Okay. Thank you, Benji. That's very nice Thank of you. Thank you the horse race, guys. All right. We're going to call it to Frenchie. Going once now. Going twice. This is going to match your ring beautifully. And fair warning, last and final call to Frenchie for $360 and Jonathan Alfaro comes in at 370. <laughs> Where were you, Jonathan? Where have you been, Jonathan? Really? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let me put it on the white because I think the white background is the best. So let me put it back on here. I want you guys to see it. See it. 380 now from Frenchie. That's a little better, I think. Yeah, there's a little shadow. If you can move maybe your hand or something, get the shadow kind of not. Mm, we almost had it. All right, Jonathan's in at 390 now. Four Benjamins now from Frenchie. Four Benjamins. Thank you, Frenchie. Uh, 
I don't know if that's good or not, but. Hold on. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can't do this, the lighting. Oh, my goodness. All right, Jonathan Alfaro is out. We're going to call it going once, going twice, and fair warning, last and final call to Frenchie for $400. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Congratulations, Frenchie. Thank you. Thank you very much. What was it? Four? Four. Okay, Frenchie. Awesome. Congratulations, Frenchie. Yes. That's gonna Enjoy match the ring. That's gonna match the ring she bought for me. I'm so excited for her. Those two pieces will go awesomely. For her. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Good for her. All right. Do I show one more of the ring? Or a ring or no? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. This is 14 karat gold. It's a size, I forgot. Let me think here. Tana, can I leave you and Lori for a minute? Yes. Thank you. It's a six and three quarters. It's uh, three diamonds and two, or sorry, two diamonds and three rubies. Solid gold. Hi, Remember that show, Solid Gold? There we go. It's six and three quarters. So you get the main ruby in the middle, prong set, bigger, and then the other ones on the side are a little bit smaller, and then diamonds in between, all okay, prong set. <clears throat> I'm going to start this one off at 95. Okay. 95 to start. Yeah, six and three quarters. Really nice quality of rubies, and it's 14 karat. We're looking for 95, you guys. Uh oh. Sorry, can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Jill comes in at 95. I just had a call come in. <clears throat> Jill's at 95 and we're <laughs> looking for a Benjamin. Looking for $100. We have 95. Do you have a reserve on this? No, I don't. Okay. 95 to Jill. Mm. Anybody else? We're looking for 100. 100 for Music 55. Thank you, Music 55. Jill, what do you think? Chris the Goose comes in at 110. We're looking for 120 next, you guys. I got a call when you guys were... I think I need to... Um, okay, I can't hear you guys. I can hear you a little bit, but I got a phone call coming in. So... Okay. Jill, I'm, I'm it, here, but my ears are. Can you hear me at all? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, it's just like it. Um, whenever I get a call coming in, it kind of like um, muffles it a little bit. Okay. So we've got Jill at $120. It's... We're looking for 130 would be the next bid, you guys. One thirty is the next bill. Jill is winning at one twenty. Hmm. Music fifty five. I tell everyone, don't. I tell people, don't call me between this time and this time, please. Don't call me. 
Um, maybe and right. I get a call. Chris the Goose, are you in or out? We're going to call it down to Jill. Let's see an out or let's see a 130 bid would be the next bid from Chris the Goose. Everyone, please refresh. Make sure that you're on live chat. Seems like we've got a little bit of a lag going on. What was the stamping? Laura, what? what's the stamp? What? He's asking, what is the stamping? Oh, it says 14 carat. And I think, don't laugh, but I think it says BM. BM. There's no lag, Jill says. Call it. Chris the Goose, we're just looking for an out from you or a 130 bid, please. <clears throat> yeah, BM. BM, 14 <laughs> carat. 130 to Chris the Goose. Jill, your next bid will be 140. We're looking for 140, Jill, or an out. Chris the Goose has it for 130 currently. Jill is out. We're going to call it down to Chris the Goose. We're going to go once to Chris, the Goose Man. Going twice to Goose. And with a fair warning, we are sold. Ooh, I typed in sold just before Benji came in with 140. <laughs> Sorry, Benji. We are By sold. By the way, this is an sold. almost brand new ring. It was worn twice. That's it. Twice. What's that? What are you saying? It's almost brand new. It was worn twice. Okay, it's sold to Chris the Goose for one forty. Um, guys, I have to interrupt. Donna sees the sold first, but everybody else sees Benji's one forty first, including me, because Donna typed it. So, do you want to? What do you want to do? So we got to honor Benji's, we got to honor Benji's, um, we got to honor his, um, we have to honor his bid because everyone sees the 140 first. It's only because you guys came in exactly at the same time. Okay. All right. We, we've got Jill at 150. We've got Goose, Goose at 160. It's still going. And just, just so you guys know. See, when, when the person who types, uh, can you even see my phone? Sorry. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, it just, it happens. I just want to make sure everybody knows it's fair. Yeah, and I'll show, yeah. You, I'll show you what I see. No, I know, because you typed it. Because everybody's done that to me when I've typed it, too. It just, if, if everybody in the chat's seeing it that way, that's the way it goes. Yep, yep, yep. It was exactly at the same time, pretty much. Yeah, that's okay. The auction is still going on. All right. And oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys. No, no worries. I'm out. <laughs> and let's see. We've got Goose in at 160. Jill, do you want to come in at 170? We've got Goose in at 160. He said I tried to snipe it. <laughs> <laughs> Jill is out. So it's back to Chris the Goose. Goose has it for 160. T, are you there? Yeah. You want to type it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Going once, going twice. And fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, for $160 to Chris the Goose, we are sold. Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. That's a great deal. Yeah. Right, awesome. awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, you guys, I have a small lot, but I think it's a nice lot. 
Um, is there any NASCAR people in the room? I'll show you what I've got. I've got some old NASCAR cards and I have this Sports Illustrated with the two Earnhardts on it. And it is a uh, 2001. And then I have this as well um, for the magazines. And then I have all of these and I, I will show you quickly because there's quite a few so you'll know what you're getting. I'm gonna start this at $25. If anybody has any questions, I'm going too fast. Let me know. All right. <clears throat> These are some old guys. $25 to start. Um, as far as if anybody knows the years, put the years in the chat. Otherwise, I'll have to take them all out of the sleeve because I don't know the years. But if anybody knows the years, if you're seeing anything, if there's a specific year you want me to pull out, specific sheet. Cal Perry. Ken Schroeder, Dale Earnhardt, Ricky Rude, Richard Petty. I only know these names because of that NASCAR unit that I bought. I had so many NASCAR things. Which, by the way, you guys, I, um, Robin redid my hoarders video which was my nascar unit with my concert t-shirts and my franklin mints and she redid it and i am going to release it this evening as a premiere after the auction i haven't seen it she worked her mag magic and she released it on my page i just have to set the time and i'm going to set it as a premiere and i'm going to watch it with you guys for the very first time it was old footage that i did when i first started doing YouTube and she freshened it up for me and re-released it. So I'm really excited about watching it and you're going to see how many NASCARs I found and concert t-shirts and things I found in that unit that I'm still liquidating. It was a huge unit. All right. Any interest? You get one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, excuse me, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pages, and the two books. $25 to start. Ten pages and, and the two books. All right, we're looking for $25 shipped on this to start. No one's interested. It's okay. We'll pass it. Someone did ask the year. I'll pull out one of these black and white ones and give you a year on it. Shady comes in at $25. Um, Winston Cup. I have no idea where to even look for the year. Racing, 1949, 1972. Career, 19... Let me see. Nineteen ninety one on this one. This is a nineteen ninety one card. They're in like brand new condition. Anybody is, is this still from the NASCAR unit? Yeah, I still have bins. Wow. Can you believe it? From what I see, the cards are from the nineteen nineties to the two thousands. Um, 10, really 20 back to back. Yeah. I just bid. Thank you, Shady. Okay. Nobody else. No other interest. We'll give them to Shady. Lot number 11. 
for the NASCAR. All right. It's We're going to go once to Shady. Going twice now. And fair warning, last and final call, and Don's in at 27. Thank you, Don. <clears throat> They're in great condition. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I didn't. I just I looked at them for the first time when you guys just looked at them. Shady's at twenty eight. Shady needs to go twenty nine, sweetheart. Two dollar increments. Don's at thirty. Thank you, Don. Thirty five to Shady. Thirty seven to Don. Thirty seven to Don. Shady, what do you think? All okay, right, yeah. all right, going once to Dawn, and Christopher Chatworth is in at 40. Oh, Christopher, thank you, thank you, Dawn, Sh thank you, Shady. Dawn is out. All right, okay. we're gonna go once to Christopher at 40. We're going to go twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call. Two, Christopher. <laughs> I hear this in my sleep. I know, right? And last and final call. <laughs> hey, I now sold to Christopher for $40. All right. Um, I have I have a lot of comedy records I'm going to oh, share. Oh, Christopher, with you. that's so nice. Oh, Christopher, thank you. Okay, that's so sweet, Christopher. All right, Shady, congratulations. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So nice. All right, they're going to Shady's house. Awesome. Okay. This Christopher is, is gifting you that lot. Christopher is gifting you that lot, Shady. Say thank you. <laughs> say thank you. Don't be confused. Just say thank you. <laughs> yeah, just say you. Just say thank you. Okay. Here's here's my next lot, you guys. Um, I'm gonna do this for thirty five dollars shipped. It's a big lot, so it's um, it's all comedy. Uh, Red said, that is one good deed for the day, so don't expect any more niceness. <laughs> so look out. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, so um, Red Fox, Naughties and Goodies, $35 to start. Gilda Radner. Wow. Isn't that great? Look at her. She's so cute. She was great, wasn't she? Yeah, and she died. She, I think she died a terrible death. I think she suffered through pancreatic cancer, was it? I think so. Yeah. Yep. My, Monty Python. Whistle stopping Jonathan Winters. Jackie Mason. I don't know who those are. Chris the Ghost. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did look today, Chris. I did look. <laughs> Wilson. How come Chris is getting a nonstop flight and nobody else can? I don't the know. Canadians, Mel Brooks, Rodney Dangerfield, Joan Rivers. Look at this. Look at this classic. Right? Woody Allen. Stand wow. up. It's great. Right, Connie's going to start us off at 35. 
Oh, maybe ovarian, Tammy. You might be right. You might be right. I, I just know she suffered terribly, whatever it was. Jackie Mason, the greatest comedian in the world. Look at this one. Wow, Don Rickles. Isn't that great? And Jonathan Winters. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This way. That's another great one. Steve Martin. Love Steve Martin. Another Steve Martin. He's the goose, that's why. No, that's not why. <laughs> This one is Cheech and Chong. Oh, the wedding Isn't album. Isn't that great? <laughs> Did Lori oh, fall out? What happened to Lori? Lori, I'm going to back. Did you fall out, Lori? What happened? I was just laughing, so I muted myself. <laughs> um, no, but you you must have gone out and come back in because you we couldn't hear you. Oh. Yeah, she did. She got a call, so she had to go out and come back in. Oh, uh, okay. You guys. Aren't these great? Awesome. These are great. Mm. They are great. No extra charge for the ones on the floor. $39 to Connie now. That was a box. That wasn't the record. George Carlin. This one's beat up because it should be. Richard Pryor, yeah. Who knows what they did on that album? <laughs> it's Richard Pryor. <laughs> he was always burning something. Look at this one, Joan Rivers. Well, another George Carlin. This one's awesome. Wait until you see this. Hey, Murphy. Look at how young. Oh, he's such a baby there. He's such a baby. Yeah, Chris, he's awesome, Carla. George Carlin. And last but not least, look at this one. Oh, Rodney. Rodney Dangerfield. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's great with the boom box. Yep. And the cigarette hanging out of it. <laughs> I, love, I love it. It's a great, this is a great, uh, great, great assortment. Love it. No respect, <laughs> exactly. No respect. Can't get right? it. So there's, that's what you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you. Eleven, twelve. Thank That's you, Susanna. So nice. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, I love this one too, 19, 20, and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 records. Gosh, I hope I'm not over limit. That's a lot. I might have to ship them in two shipments. <clears throat> Connie's out. Connie's books and things is in at 45. Were, the, were they the only two that were bidding? Forty-five to Connie. Forty-five. Ka Connie Johnson is out. 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 All right. Going once to Connie. Going twice, and fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Connie Books and Things for $45. $45. For the comedy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. 
Um, are you going to show? Or did you want me to show another one? Yeah, show another one. I have some old books. Are my old book people in the chat? Um, I'll show you what I have for old books. Um, procedures and taxidermy. Taxonomy. Taxonomy? Tax oh, I thought I said taxidermy. Sorry. Um, this one is, is sex necessary. Silence. Awkward silence. No comments, T? Oh, dear. <laughs> You're there? I'm here. This one, <laughs> Victory Through Air Power. Um, who's this? Education and Liberty. Just a bunch of time. <laughs> no, Don. I did. I had it. But no, um, didn't I have it last week? I have the, I, ha I think I have the jacket with no album. I didn't, I have the, al didn't I have the, the album? With, without a jacket. <laughs> no, I had the album with the jacket, didn't I? No, I don't know. I think I did. But no poster or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, because Connie it. Johnson says, yes, now I have one. Yeah, I did. I, I, don't I had one last week. Here? Where the heck was I? I don't know. I don't know. I think that lot went for a lot of money. Um, here's JFK. This one's in plastic. The day Lincoln was shot, they have it in plastic. This one is a prayer book. Connie says she has one. Jews in the Armed Forces. This one is a French Revolution. Oh, my gosh. Look at how torn up this one is. Carla loves her JFK. She'd show her that book again. She wants to see it again. Oh, I have, an, I have a whole JFK lot, Carla. Oh, Lincoln. This one. Oh, it was RFK. It wasn't JFK. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Is, there, is there any interest in the old book lot? If not, I'll bring it back another night. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Um, the library of the something college. You're so much better at this than I am with the books, too. Quintilian? Quintilian 4, yeah. Do you know what that is? Plato's Republic? No, I don't know the book, to be honest. Um, there's a whole bunch of paperbacks. I don't know. I know some paperbacks are are um, valuable, but I'll show you what there is in paperbacks. KJ, that's it. I mean, Ka Carla, that's an open-ended question. <laughs> how much for the JFK lot so you she can start saving. We don't know what anybody's going to bid it up to. <laughs> oh, I actually have it ready. Um, I'll try to show it. it. I don't know how much longer we're going tonight, but I'll try to show it. I have it all already right behind me. Um, anyways, I'm not going to look for the titles. These are Brave Men, and this one is Great Stories of Study. And then there's this one, which is Methods of Logic. And this one, Dinosaurs, Matthew. Well, that's Dinosaurs by Matthew. Yeah. Oops. That's the author's Matthew. There's some newspaper clippings in here. Um, yeah, well, Carla, her openings are usually around 2530. What's that? She, she meant to open it, to open the bid. Oh. Uh, Greek Roman mythology. And this one is called public speaking. And then the last one is this one here. Another horn blower. Hmm? Yeah. So just a bunch of old books. If anybody's interested, $25 to start. You get... These are the paperbacks, the old paperbacks, and here's another stack of them. And 
this is the final stack. Anybody interested? If not, we'll pass. All right. Any interest in the books, guys? Doesn't look like it. We can pass. No? Okay. No passes, no bids. Just no we'll, we'll pass. We'll pass. Send it over to Laurie. All right, Laurie, you're up, honey. Okay, sorry. I was finishing my Triscuit. <laughs> Those are dry. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> should we start with like maybe a garnet ring? Susanna said, um, this you is see my message above. Let me see what Susanna was saying. Do you see a message from Susanna? T? Oh, um, and I have not received my books from you since May. It says you have not sent it out yet. Mm, I'll look right now. I'll go look right now, Susanna. Okay, go ahead. And also okay. there's a message here from Carla. She's interested in just the mythology book. So I don't know if you want to make her a nice deal so that when you, she buys something else from you, you can include it. Okay, I'll write that down. Now I'm concerned about Susanna's order. I don't know. All right, go check on that. And I know. I don't, know, it, sorry, I don't honey. know what it was that she ordered. From May what? Oh, God. 30 orders a day. Okay. 13. And it was, who was it that wanted the mythology book? Carla. Carla. Carla wants the mythology book. Okay. Got it. So, Carla, when you buy something else, that'll give you a good price on the book. But this way she can combine this shipping. May 21st, old books, dear. No, those went out. I know for a fact that those went out. Let me see if I can get you a tracking number and I'll send it to your email. I know for a fact that those went out, Susanna. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is um, Mozambique Garnet. Um, it's a trilogy ring in sterling silver. It's new. It's a size six. Um, it's 2.40 carats. We're going to start this one off at $60. And garnets are my favorite because I thought they were a beautiful version of rubies. They're oh, darker, oh. which I love. And it almost looks like two hearts, one on each end. They're all punk set. I don't want to push it down because I'm a seven and it'll get stuck. Okay. But, <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> it's a new ring. And mm -hmm. you see it's a trilogy. The main stone, it's um punk set. Then you have each stone on, on the side. And they're like they look like a heart on each side. Really beautiful. Size six. Um, it's two point four zero carat. This one I know the carats on it. And Mozambique are by far some of the most superior garnets that you can get. And they're rich and dark like this. Yeah. The underneath is open. Open. I'm gonna put it back on my finger. What are we starting with? Um, sixty dollars. Sixty dollars to ship. They look like hearts, one on each side. Beautiful. Nice, rich, and dark. Oh, I don't want to push it down. I'll put it on my pinky. I'm a seven, so I don't want to do that. We got a pass? You have a pass. All right, we got a pass. Okay, we'll move on. 
Um, <clears throat> next one is... All right, I'm going to do a Native American ring. Where did I put it? I just missed it. Oh, here it is. Um, this one is a Navajo oh, ring. It wants to come in at 60. You want to keep going on it? We only had one pass. Okay. Um, where did I put it? <laughs> you just put it down. I saw you. I know. I just, I hate that because I'll put it somewhere. Right oh, over God. to your left. Over to your left. No left. I saw you put it to the left. Oh my gosh. Jonathan, I ate it. Um, and I think we have a little laggy tonight too because Fancy's just writing the color is gorgeous. Yeah, really dark, very nice color. Let me find that ring. Gosh, where did I put it? Um, that's Fire Opal. That's turquoise. Yep, I found. Um, okay, Susanna, I'm sending you an email. I found it. I think it's just hung up somewhere. You know, like that other one didn't show any tracking at all. I literally can't find it now. I have no idea where I put it. Oh my gosh. If you saw the jewelry in front of me, that's why you would know. All. That's in front of me. It's a, an abyss of jewelry. Oh, wait. Nope, that's a citrine. Oh, my God. I think I've lost it. <clears throat> oh. Nope, that's a different ring. Oh, All right, Lord. we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Do something else. Do something else meanwhile. Okay. So this one is a Navajo ring, Native American. It's Sleeping Beauty. So let me let me say something before I tell you the price. The mine, that mine Sleeping Beauty, which means no veining in the turquoise. Um, it's closed. What we have is what we have. There's no more. It's not to be had. That's it. So this is a Navajo ring. It has the beautiful feather leaves. We call them leaves, or I call them leaves, but they're really feathers. They're called feathers. And they are a 3D of silver, and the uh, it's a knuckle ring. So it's a bi-split band. It means split twice on the side. It's a knuckle ring, meaning it goes from knuckle to knuckle. And it's um, gorgeous sleeping Arizona Sleeping Beauty. That mine is closed. You can't get it anymore. I'm going to start this ring off at $100. And it is Native American. It's a Navajo piece. It's kind of 3D. I hope you can see that. So they create the platform. Then they put the bezel, which is sawtooth, which is my favorite bezel. I don't know if you can see that. Then on top of that, they put the, the feathers. It's gorgeous. And then the balls, I even hate saying these words anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gorgeous. It's and beautiful. it's a Navajo yeah, knuckle ring. And it's um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise from Arizona. And what's, the yeah. what's the size? Um, it, it is um, a seven and one quarter. Seven and one quarter. Beautiful. So it's a little 3D. And it's Navajo. Beautiful. Jill's going to come in at 100. Okay. I wish the gal that Manji was here because she was asking about it. But <laughs> okay, I told her. Oh, my to my wife. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. No, I don't know. Um, I I text her. I emailed her. She's in Canada, but yeah. Um, 
Jonathan Alfaro, you know the rules here. 110, baby. 110. <laughs> Jonathan's probably glad Manji's not here because oh, okay. Manji always bids up against him. <laughs> oh, all right. Beautiful sleeping beauty. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, looking for 120 now. So there are no veins in this turquoise, and it's because of the way that they mine it. No, it's just the the how it um, the age, um, the type of matrix, the chemical compounds. The turquoise has no are they more veins. rare than the ones that have veins in them. Um, it's like um, you know how I, I said there's. There's magnesium, which is like no veining. And it's like a flat blue. Then there's howlite, which has bigger brown veining. Then you have, and they usually dye it. Then you have turquoise. Turquoise has a very fine veining. But um, Arizona Sleeping Beauty has no veining in it. And it's just, um, it's kind of an anomaly, really. Okay. Because... It's just All right, Jill came in at 120, Jonathan now at 130. So the mine is closed. We can't get any more. So what you get is what you get as far as vintage, and that's it. This is it. No more. They've closed. The mine so has closed. The mine is closed. It's sort of like um, white buffalo. White buffalo used to be considered useless. We didn't like it. Nobody liked it. Natives hated it. But now it's really highly sought out. And it's the beginning stage also of turquoise. It's white. It's um, kind of like an albino of the turquoise. All right, so Jonathan, at 150 now. 160 from Jill. Thank you, guys. Let me explain how these feather leaves are made. You have to pour a casting of um, wax, you carve it, you pour the silver into it. That makes the mold for the leaf feather. And it's not an easy process. It's something that you have to be very skilled and um, only very few people can really master it. Some people will say they do it, but they're really just taking pieces off another piece of jewelry and soldering it. This is an authentic piece. And it is, a, you know, my dad tries to do, um, he actually, it took him months to make a ring for my mom. And it was gorgeous. It had emeralds, it had a frog in it. It was like a frog um, holding on to an emerald. It had emerald eyes. But the carving for the wax, it takes a long, long time. I don't think people understand how long it takes to create something like this. It's not an overnight process. And um, at the time, my mom was already sick. All right, time, looks like Jonathan Alfaro is out. We're going to go once to Jill at 160. She loved it. My mom loved it. She's like, it's emerald. And I know, it's that's my birthstone. I love emerald. Anything emerald. Goodness. Yeah. I'd love to see it one day. I'll show it to you. He has it yeah. in the safe. Love to see it. All right, going twice to Jill now. And fair warning, last and final call. $160 to Jill. And ladies and gentlemen, woohoo! Sold to Jill. Congratulations. She's been waiting to win something all night. I think <laughs> she, won, she won a really good piece here. This is a good one. Thank you, Jill, so much. Thank you, Jonathan, and everyone else. Okay, Navajo Sleeping Beauty. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, oh, six and three quarters, did I say? Yeah, six and three quarters. Okay. Thank you. What, on the size? Huh? On the size? uh yeah wasn't no, it six no quarters? seven seven and an eighth oh seven and one quarter sorry one seven quarter, and one quarter. that was a different reason yeah seven the other one. ring that you can't find was six and three. <laughs>
The oh, garnet. Well, oh, I still don't know where it's at. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. All right. The next thing that I have um, is, all right, this one, it's not marked, but that doesn't mean it's not anything. It, it's just that this was from probably early on before they had the stamps, before they wanted to acknowledge their own artisan work because it was in the era of they didn't want to acknowledge it. This is an artisan piece. It's Native American. It's called the Bleeding Heart. It's crushed um, turquoise and um, white turquoise and blue turquoise inlaid with the silver. And I have it on a squared. It's called squared. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this. Okay, I'm just going to tell you the price. It's a very long chain. I think 20 inch, 22 inch. Um, we're going to start this one off at 95. It is this long. I'm going to measure it. Let me bring it up so you guys can see it. It's an inlaid bleeding heart. Native American. Uh, my dad thinks this is Zuni. Um, and it is crushed blue turquoise on the edge all around. Then the white is uh, crushed white turquoise in the center with the inlaid um, bleeding heart. I hope you can see that. You see the flame on the top of the heart? Oh, yeah. That's a bleeding heart. I mean, even if you're Catholic or Christian, you kind of get it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a thick piece. And then the necklace, I have to measure it, but this is a gorgeous necklace. It's squared. So it's not a box chain. I don't remember the name of the chain, and my dad couldn't either. But it's squared on all edges. So I don't remember the name. But it is. <clears throat> Um, probably about 23 inches in length, the chain, and then the bleeding heart. It's all inlaid. So let me pull it back. See it? Really beautiful work. So. Like my dad was saying, Zuni kind of like, they set, they paved the road for inlaid work. They really were really good with it. And I mean, every region is kind of different for, you know, known for their thing, but Zuni were known for this. And it's a truly beautiful piece. All right. And what are we starting this off at? Um, I think I said $90. Okay. I think it was 90 like five, I think you said, but. That's fine. 90 is okay. Hey, the flipping accountant. How are you? Good to see you. Yes, it's all sterling, Nancy. The chain, which I don't know the name of the chain. but it's Jillson also at 90, Ronnie G now at 100. I hope you can see the chain. The chain alone is worth like 100. Uh, and you probably can't see it. Oh, where am I? Hold on. It's all squared. It's a complete square. Not one twenty now from Jill. Hey, Cody, how are you, sweetheart? One fifty from Ronnie G. I haven't seen you, Cody. How are you? Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Jill. John says it looks like a Franco chain. Oh, Franco is more of like um, interwoven links i can't explain it but god um i asked my it almost looks like a serpentine good, thanks, Tony. on each end all wow. right 170 now from music 55 185 now from ronnie g yeah Faye, it's not a box chain how are you sweetheart thanks for coming in no let me get a little closer hold on it's, it's a square snake chain yeah, it's like a serpentine on all four sides. Beautiful. Okay. It's very long. 20, what did I say, 23 inches? Yep. Two bends, 
Questions now from Jill. Box Serpentine mm -hmm. says says Robin. Okay, thank you, Robin. Wait, Robin, as in my family, Robin? Yes, of course. Why? Well, why else? Who else would know? But somebody from your family. <laughs> thank you, Robin. It runs in the family, of course. Two twenty now from Music Fifty Five. <laughs> I want to know where she ate because um, <laughs> she wouldn't say. Yeah, she sold jewelry for many years. See, it does run in the family. Oh, did you really? I didn't know that, Robin. She's been on so many jury jaws from Donna. <laughs> She's bringing them back to Florida when she comes. 2.30 oh now from Jill. I mean, when she goes. Wow. It would be so nice to meet you all, but right now, like I'm supposed to meet my friends tomorrow. I don't want to go. I'm too paranoid about meeting anybody and getting yes, in contact. Yes, the cousins. Yep, you're right, Robin. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Robin, you're so feisty. <laughs> I was watching how she was getting so mad at the auction uh, moderator. I'm like, <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think she got the auction moderator fired. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to go once to Jill at 2.30. <laughs> I think Ronnie was out. Music 55, where do you stand? <laughs> oh, God. All right, Music 55 is out. All right, going twice now to Jill. And fair warning, last and final call to Jill. And ladies and gentlemen, look out. Jill is spending some money tonight here at the auction. And we are sold to Jill for $230. Thank you, Jill. Congratulations, Jill. Thank All right. So we got Donna up. <laughs> Two what? 230? 230. It's I mean, my turn. Yes, honey. I thought you were going to show. Oh, uh, is everybody frozen or was that just me? I don't know. It was just us, T. She froze on my end, too. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Internet's been wacky the last 24 hours. It's crazy. Are you done, Donna? Um, I mean, I could show something. How much longer are you going? Because I want to say. I mean, I don't think you go much longer. I think. Yes, Donna, please show something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her microphone. I know. Put everybody in the put everybody in the window. Don't put me by myself. Well, I'm just gonna put you up the show. Hi. 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 Hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? Good. Great. Yeah. yeah. Is there yeah. something you want to tell us? No. Oh, no okay. Good. I've just been like literally. I have two big, huge, twenty-seven inch monitors. And I have two iPhones. No, I've been well, we know editing. One, I know one place you're tramping around that. I already know that. Well, duh. That's a <laughs> given. No, that's a given. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. I gotta show support. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of sick of Donna already, and I haven't even met her yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's because she's been editing my video all day. I can't wait oh, to watch right, it. Now I'm working on the travel trailer. I can't wait to watch it. I mean, don't get your hopes up too high. I told you that I didn't touch a lot of it because there was music in the background and I can't really do much with that. But yeah. there are moments for sure. Thank you, Fred. My touch on. Hey, look what time it is. I know. Thanks, you guys. Wow, it's um, a rare occasion when we're actually present for this. That's not true. She's always present. She just doesn't always admit she's present. I know these things. So um, when are you going to call it? Because I'm going to set the premiere. Oh, oh! I didn't know you were doing a premiere after. 
Yeah, I'm doing a premiere right after this of, of Robin's video that she made me. Oh, it's finished? Okay. Um, yeah, Marie, I you want to show ago. like, uh, what, two or three more things and we'll call it? Um, no, no. Okay. What? <laughs> Robin, you're so funny. <laughs> With the hearts, the heart balloons. I found the ring. I found it. You found it. Do you want to go back and show that again? And then... Um, Donnie, do you want to show any more? You want to just finish up with Lori and then we'll go to your premiere. Yeah, I think that will be fine. Because we're right, gonna, you and I are on twice tomorrow. Yeah, so that's fine. All right, so Lori, show the ring and then show something else and we'll call it. Okay. Who is bidding on the right. ring? I forgot. Jonathan Alfaro wanted the ring, so we'll start back with him. Okay. Um, it is a size six. Oh no. Oh dear. You love the banana. Don't act like you don't. I don't love the banana anymore. <gasps> you don't? Why not? The banana is too sassy. Oh. Yeah. See? I'm telling you. I'm with too you, sassy. Laurie. Yeah. Naughtiness coming out of those lips. Yes. No. no. Naughtiness, for sure. Bad, <laughs> bad girl words. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I got you with my smile. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, no, okay. it's embarrassing. Oh my god. All right, we're going back to the <laughs> ring now. Chris the goose. ABM anti banana movement. <laughs> you can't even uh, look at me. <laughs> I can't. It's too disturbing. I can't do it, it is too disturbing, right? Not disturbing. disturbing. Yes. Yeah. I, don't, I can't I even. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put Like, pretend you don't even see it. I'm going to lay this on top so I don't see the banana. <laughs> I'm going to place this on top too so that I don't see the banana. <laughs> Hi, Nana. I'm sorry. I'm okay with you. <laughs> You're so naughty, banana. No. Okay. All right, this is a Mozambique, which is an African um, garnet. So I'm gonna, I'm it's, gonna it's, set it, hold on, Laurie, one second, I'm sorry. T, I'm gonna set yet. it for um, 11.30. Okay. Okay, all right. So make, gonna, it, make, it, make it for 11.45 because- All right, just in case. You know. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a Mo African Mozambique garnet 925 trilogy ring. And it is all prong set, size six, 2.40 carat, really nice and dark. Uh, that's the characteristic you want for um, a garnet, very dark color. And I don't remember where we left off, to be honest. Um, um, Jonathan, um, Jonathan Alfaro, were you at 60, honey? Just confirm. I can go back, but yeah. it would just be easier, Jonathan. Yeah. Banana is naughty. Really naughty. Naughtiness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is I, I call my Maltese cat Nana, banana, <laughs> Nana, Nana, banana. And she loves to be called that. But I'm like, if she knew how naughty you were, banana, she would not be happy. Not be happy. Hey, just Jackie. How are you tonight, honey? All right. We have 60 from Jonathan Alfaro. We're looking for 65 now. Um, it has a little embossing around the heart part of the um punk set hearts on the side. They're like little, like little studs, little balls all around. You probably can't see that. It's very subtle. But it's beautiful because, well, when you see it in person, you'll you'll think, oh, this is gorgeous. Um, then around the main stone, it's a prong set um, oval faceted stone. And the embossing only goes around the hearts on the side. So really unique to kind of set them off. So let me. 
And, and what, um, what was the material for the ring itself? Um, sterling silver, nickel free. It is sterling silver. Okay. Yeah. And what was this size, Shady's asking? Uh, size 6 and 2.40 carats. An even size 6. Yes. Uh, even size 6. Yeah, I don't want to push it down over my knuckle because I'm a 7. Right, but, right. No, 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 don't do it. But it's new. And Brand new. it's, yep. So whenever I show you guys my dad's new jewelry, they're new. He might have had them for a very long time, but they're new. Old new stock, I guess. Never worn. Never worn. No. That Except ruby ring was worn twice. Twice. Shady says it's beautiful. Your jewelry is stunning. Oh, thank you, Shady. That's so nice. All right, Music 55 is in at 75 now. I do want to show you guys a ruby. Um, or I can't remember if it's ruby or sapphire. I'll show you that and then my jar. Um, but I have to go out into the garage because it's cooler out there <laughs> and climate controlled. All right, Jonathan is out. No other interest. We're going to go once to music 55 at 75. Thank you, Jonathan. And thank you. Thanks for playing, John. Going twice yeah. now to music 55. <clears throat> And fair warning, last and final call for $75 to Music 55. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold. Thank you so much. You're going to, it's beautiful. The coloring is really nice. Garnet Trilogy. Thank you so much, 925. Okay. I have a jar to show you, but I also want to show you um, um, a stone, a faceted stone. I don't know if everyone's interested in that. I mean, there's a lot of um, information that goes along with it and why faceted stones are a little more expensive than like tumbled stones or something. So but what, what, what's in the garage? Tell me. I have a, a climate controlled little safe that I put the stones in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go grab it really quick, and then um, I'll show you my jar if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Maybe Donna, do you want to show something really fast? You have something close by? Um, I have some kids' books. Oh, I have that JFK lot. I can show. Okay, let's do that real quick while she goes to the garage. Okay. Got it. So I have this People magazine, Charmed Life, Tragic Death, um, 1999. U.S. News, The Kennedy Curse. And then there's actually two of these. And Newsweek, $25 to start. Glow. Okay, so you do know this is Junior. This isn't JFK himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Junior. <laughs> I don't know if JFK is in here. I think he might be in here, too. Um, Jackie remembered. Here's JFK Junior again. I think I have JFK also. I have to go through. I have a whole bunch of bins. I have to go through them. Um, I'll see if I can maybe go through them tomorrow. Um, this is the White House, and it's uh, 33 families. This is um, 
um, a hardcover book. Hey, Palmer. <laughs> Remember Rosemary's Baby? Oh, wow, yeah. You know, right? There's right. that one. This one. This one. That one. And I guess there's a mix in here. There's this one. There's the newspaper clipping from Diana's beautiful wedding. Um, the day JFK died. So there was some JFK in here. And then. And what were we going to start this lot out at? $25. $25 ship to start. It's so. Wow. Yeah, sealed. Wow. Never opened. Or if it was opened, they put a date on it. There's that. Um, up. The wall must come down. And I thought there was one. Okay, there's. Um, let's see what's here. There's this one. And there's. I, I don't know what's even in these, you guys. I just literally grabbed them out of a bin. Someone was a collector of... God, that was such a sad day. And I don't know. This looks like it's just an advertisement. So that's the whole lot. Let me just uh, stack it all together here, and I'll show you what's here. Oh, I'm running out of space. I need to clear my area I'm trying to. So it is all of this plus these. If anybody's interested right, in it's all it's that paperwork. Ship to start. That's it. That's the whole lot. Just a bunch of JFK stuff. Okay, Carla. No problem, honey. No problem, Carla. No problem at all, honey. No palm at all. I'll lot it up with some other stuff if there's no interest in it. Is Laurie back? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. We just figured we'd show something while you were gone. No, Carly, you're not gonna, honey. We'll we'll work it out. Don't worry. What's you'll, the matter? Wait a little longer for it. You're not gonna pay twenty five dollars for one book. <laughs> oh, no. No way. <laughs> we'll work it out. No worries. All right, pass on that lot with Donna and Lori. Let's see what you have. Okay. So I'm not sure if you guys are interested in gemstones. That's what my dad deals with you know, all day. <laughs> and we have a plethora of them, but we are, he only wants to sell certain ones at certain times. And he's willing to let these go. So, you know, you guys can tell me if you're interested or not. Um, this is a London blue topaz. So there's many colors of topaz. There's clear, sky blue, London blue, and um, one other, I can't think of the name right now. But this is um, 12 karat. It is faceted, and it's truly beautiful. It's a very big London blue topaz. So topaz is the second in line for diamond because on the hardness scale, um, it's a pretty big, big diamond. Um, no, I'll put it right on here. Um, it's an 18 by, hold on. What did I write? 18 by 13 oval. So I'm going to start this one off at $100 because they are pricey and it's a big stone. Faceted. And so if no one goes for it, I, I can understand. It's hard to explain the worth of faceted stones. Um, 55 is going to give you 100 for it. All right. Thank you so much. Do you see 55? Um, 12 carats and a big London blue. I would love to see this on a ring. 
I think it's gorgeous. I have a yellow topaz, I think, that size, if I still have it from my grandmother. Wow. So yellow topaz is very rare because there aren't that many yellow topaz. It, it goes clear, there's the blues, and then there's yellow, and there's one more color. I don't want to take it out of the box because I'm kind of a klutz. I, I have broken a, um, a gemstone before. I don't have the tweezers that you hold it with. It's beautiful. Twelve, 12 carats, you said? It's 12 carats, and it's an 18 by 13 oval faceted stone. So that would make a really nice pendant because it's so big for a huge ring. Um, is blue topaz December's birthstone? Hmm. Oh gosh, that I don't know. I don't know what December oh. is. One month I don't know. Is it December diamond? I don't know. I but there's know. London blue, which is this. There's Swiss blue and sky blue in the blue tones. That's Can you right. take the lid off the box? Um... See. <gasps> Sorry, I get so nervous because I have broken a fluorite stone before. Here we April, go. April is diamonds. Oh, okay. I so you can see how thick it is. Very thick. It would be perfect for a ring, actually. Okay, Carla said yes, December is blue topaz. Oh, it is? Okay. All right. Here. If there's no other interest, we're going to go once to Music 55 at 100. We're going to go twice now. <laughs> they are warning. Last and final call to Music 55 at $100. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Music 55. Thank you very much. This is a gorgeous piece. So um, thank you very much. All right. Well, how much? 100 Yep. Let me just write that down real quick. I'll show you the others real quick. No one has to bid. I We can go to my jewelry jar or I can show more stones. You guys make that decision. Laurie, make sure you drop your email in the um, chat so that people that are buying from you can email you directly, everybody, please, so that um, T doesn't have to forward everybody's addresses or me. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, the next one. Oh my God. I love this one. This is a pink topaz. <laughs> um, so rubies come in this color as well. And it's a uh, 12.9 carats and it's eight. It's an 18 by 13, same size as the other one. Faceted stone. Um, all right. So this one's a little bit more. This one's going to be um, at 120, if anyone's interested, it's the pink topaz. I'll take it out. Faceted. It's 12.90 carats. And it's an 18 by 13 millimeter oval. That's beautiful. Yeah. When I found out that rubies don't just come in red, because, you know, when you grow up, you just think, oh, rubies, they're red. That's your birthstone. I hated them. I only wore garnets. Then I started to wear um, sapphires because I love the blue sapphires. Well, sapphires come in pink like this also. And so my dad's like, <laughs> you know, stones come in different colors. I'm like, well, I didn't know. 
So very nice. Look how thick and deep it is. It's not just a surface um, gemstone. It's deep. So it's not like a shell, basically. You can see how deep that is. Yeah, you'd need it, some size setting for that ring. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to put it like right here just so you can see it. But you don't have to make it a ring. You can make it a pendant, too. Pendant, yeah. It's gorgeous. So, like I said, topaz, pink top or any topaz, is um, third on the list for the replacement for diamonds, the hardness on the hardness scale. And if there's no takers, that's okay. All right. Um, any interest, 120 ship to start. Pink topaz, 12.9 carats. Yep. Any interest? Any interest? Thank you, guys. No interest. Just say pass. I think we're on a path. So. Yeah. I'm just going to put right, it in. Pass on them. Yeah, Jill says I'm learning. I'm learning about them. Okay, so she can always bring them back again. No worries. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show. I, I don't expect anyone to buy this, but I want to show because it's one of my favorite stones. And then I'll do the jewelry jar. I'm not going to like say buy it. I'm just going to say I'm just going to talk about it. This is ametrine, which is um, you have amethyst that grows next to the citrine. So when they collect the stone in the matrix. Um, they cut it on a bias, so you get the beauty of both stones. You get the amethyst and the citrine, so it's like a fading, an ombre effect from the purple to the yellow. So it's called an um, ametrine, and here's the ametrine. So you see how it's purple, dark on top, and lighter at the bottom? Oh, yeah. oh I really love the stone. <laughs> um, this one... Um, not that I'm like, I want to show my jar, but this is uh, 11 by 19, nine millimeter and it's 3.48 carats. And if anyone's interested, just let me know. This is, I think the last ametrine that we have. So you see the purple and then it goes to yellow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the last one that we have. Okay. All right, next up is her jury jar. Yes, the jury jar. And what are we going to start the jury jar off at? Well, oops, we're going to start it off at 75. It's mainly right. stones. And um, um, there's a little bit <laughs> of fashion jewelry. What? I guess Farmer, <laughs> Farmer says, Lori has stones that made babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and okay so there's a little sterling in here i will be adding sterling to it if once it goes up um okay ooh. so there's ooh, it's heavy oh it's not a jury jar it's a jury bowl it's a trifle yeah. bowl nonetheless <laughs> yes which by the way i had to buy this when i got married i'm like oh i'm this martha stewart I have to have this. <laughs> I never used it though. So this is all new. Um, this is a garnet necklace. Let me take it off so you can see it a little better. Um, I think it's like 500 and some odd um, carats. And it has a little bit of gold stone. So they are chunks of the garnet, then you have seed beads in between to kind of space them out. These are gold stone. And then you have the stainless steel little cap. So it has a little vintage flair to it. And then you have the garnet beads. So that's going in there and it's heavy. Um, I can't remember, I'll look it up. I'll write everything down for you guys. Everything I always do, I'll always put the carrots when it comes to like this kind of stuff, um, will be that. Then there's this set. I bought it. 
Because <laughs> I love neck cuffs. So um, this went for originally for a lot of money. It's glass. They're Italian. And it's a bracelet and a neck cuff set. That's the bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, nice. I love, I'm partial to green, so anything green I'm going to love. <laughs> Me too. Anything like ocean colors. My God, I love it. It's stainless steel. And then you have this. Um, it was, a, it's an artisan piece. This was originally a um, hundred and, no, 95 just for the necklace. Just for the necklace. Beautiful. It has a knot. The necklace and here's the bracelet so I'm just gonna do that look how beautiful I love it okay all right so this is gonna start us off at 75 okay then, uh -oh. then we have these bracelets which are new they are I like I kind of picked all the colors to kind of match so these are new and they oops are seed bead and these little chroma beads. They're squares. I love big bracelets. Martha comes in at 80, Christopher now at a hundred, Jonathan Alfaro at 120. Look at Wonder I mean, Woman. I, yeah, Wonder Woman. Which was yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman one year. She looked gorgeous. She had dyed her hair black. Oh, she looks so pretty. She had the body for it. All right. So, and that was our era, Wonder Woman. So we've got these. Then this set, which is Mother Pearl Seed Bead in bronze. Then we have the earrings. Um, the earrings are in surgical steel. Is that right? Yeah. All right, Jonathan, now at 150. The matching bracelet to it all. It's nice. a multi strand. I'm just going to hold it because I don't think I can put it on there. But that's the set. It's all new. Um, this is Mother Pearl. Stretchy Mother Pearl. It's very thick. I love Mother Pearl. One of my favorites. It's stretchy. So beautiful. Very thick. Then there's, can we take this out? There's a fashion set in here that's new. Let me put it on here. And it's just a fashion set. This is kind of just a giveaway in here. It's not stone, but it is stainless, and it comes with earrings, but may not be everyone's forte. I would totally wear it. I like statement pieces. I'm not sure they're the other side of the track kind of statement pieces, but they are statement pieces. They're little, like, Tibetan pom-poms, and it's in stainless. Nice. Um, there's the earrings. I only have one earring on there, but it's all new. All stainless. It's a square, um, like a huge box link. So there's that set. Oh, there's the other earring. Then there's this ring, which is seed bead and multi stone. It's new. Um, it has, oh my gosh, coral, turquoise, quartz, um, uh, lapis, um, Dalmatian jasper, and um, some lemon quartz, beige jasper. I mean, just a lot of stones. That's new. And then that's the seed bead stretchy but i thought they go really cool with the bracelets that's why i wanted to include the spring with these bracelets yes carla 
Um, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Brand new watch by, oh, I can't read this. I bought this for me because I rescued black cats. Jessica Hart. But I can't wear watches because I'm so acidic, it drains the battery. So I just gave up. Um, but it's a Jessica Hart. And it has a little black kitty with a leather, and it has a leather band, which I don't wear. It's new. That's in there. Black cats. And, oh, oh. This is all coral. So you get that one too, which kind of goes nicely with the bracelet. It's all coral and sea bead. So it goes nicely with the bracelet as well. Okay. And there's some fashion pieces. Where oh, here it is. There's this is the only fashion piece in here, but it's in excellent condition. It's coastal. I thought it was perfect for summer. It's navy beads and little starfish and conch shells and clam shells and this stretchy bracelet, which is stainless and enameled navy blue to match. Really pretty. It's a stretchy bracelet, so this is what I mean. I love these. So that with the matching that. And I don't know where we're at, but... I've got these rings that are natural stone that are new. I've got a fashion set in there. I've got yeah, these Jonathan rings. Alfaro still at 150. Anyone want to come 160 now? Okay, then this is Mother of Pearl with seed bead, the whole set. I changed the um, premiere to midnight tea. Okay, thank you, honey. We weren't okay. making 11.45. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm hurrying. No, don't I'm worry. Hurrying. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. No big deal. Take your time. I can change okay. it again if I have to. I'm on my last thing. Okay. All right, Christopher comes in at 160 now. This is really great. I don't know if you can make out the price, but it says 95. It's an artisan key. Oh, let me clarify this in the chat because people are questioning the jury jar. So James Cisco, one of our subscribers here at the channel, started that way back when, when Donna started showing her jewelry jars. And because of my accent and the way I was saying Okay, we have 50 for the jewelry jar. The way I was saying it, it sounded like jury jar. So it has just become a thing with us. <laughs> so that's like our name for jewelry jars, as we call them jury jars. Because it's just the jury. from my accent, that's how what it was sounding like. <laughs> jury jar. Jury jar. Yes. Okay, got it. Jury jar. The mother of pearl. Stretchy. This is a lot of mother of pearl. This is new. Um, that goes in there. All right, Christopher at 160 now. Okay. Ooh. Jonathan is out. Jill, let us know if you're still in the mix. Amy, how are you? Amy's asking, do we know how many pieces in total? Let's see. Can we count it? No, There's we don't usually count jury jars. It's not necessary. Just thought if you knew off the top of your head. I don't. Um, but there's a one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four sets. And then like individual items. And if it goes a little further, I will add something really pretty. <laughs> okay. And I have it here in my baggie. Yeah, that's pretty. Where are we at? All right. We have 160 from Christopher Chatworth. 
Jonathan Alfaro says he's out. Jill says she's out. Okay. BA for some reason is out. <laughs> um, can open this. Okay, I'm just gonna add this to it. If I can open, oh, here we go. All and right, then, add a goodie to it. Yeah, let's see. Um, so this is a, a Lariat. Lariat. It's a new Mexican court Lariat style um, necklace. So each one is, oh, what side is it? Oh, yeah, they're both the same. All right, these are hand-carved Mexican quartz, and they have little um, stainless steel butterflies in between. And as you can see, there's like a, a hole, like um, a circle that the chips go through, which are the white and clear Mexican quartz. And then there's like little beads throughout. That's a Lariat style where it feeds through. So I'm gonna put it on here so you can see it. So that's gonna be in there as well. I'll give that's you all of the carrots on, this is my last one. I have given one to a friend also, that's it. This is all that we have as far as this. But it's a Lariat style. Very pretty, very Thank pretty. You. All right, we're gonna go once to Christopher at 160. He's and getting a little steal here tonight. Yes. So you'll get all of the carrots and everything. Oh, I will label everything for you. Lori's really good about doing the labeling, too. Going twice <laughs> now to Christopher at $160. And fair warning, another steal. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now... Sold. Congratulations, Christopher. Nice win. Yes. Thank you so much. Christopher got some nice deals tonight. Yeah. Uh, one, what was it? One what? 160. Y'all don't give okay. me any warning anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Robin. It's all good. I always look to see, make sure you're not picking your nose or anything. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> um, Lori, I sent you, a, I mean, cousin, I sent you an email. Oh, you did? Okay, thank you. Okay. Hi, Donna. Hi, Robin. Thank you guys for having me on. I always have a fun time. I hope everyone loves the jewelry. If you ever have any problem with anything, please let me know. We would like to make it right. And thank you, Donna and P and Robin for your generosity for having me on we love having you Lori. thank you thank you all right thank you guys now don't go away stay tuned in 10 minutes we're going over to donna's who is it going to be on donna's channel or robin's no it's my channel but robin I, made it but it's robin old it's a, old footage old footage from one of the first storage units when i went back to buying storage units again you oh. sure have a lot of trust for me, Donna. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I, haven't, I haven't watched it, you guys. I there haven't. is a part where you're going to go, really, Robin? Really? Oh, yeah. I, I trust her 100%. I have not seen what she did. She went, she took the footage, she put it all together, and she uploaded it onto my page. So I, I, I put a lot of trust in Robin. I can't you're wait to see lucky it. I didn't put credits like, the fluffer or something like that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> AKA the fluffer. <laughs> Poor Donna. I love you. Were you were you watching that last night, Laurie, when that whole thing happened? Uh, talk about the it was the night before, right? Night before last? Talking about the fluffer, how you were yeah. fluffing your your um stuffed animals. Yeah, the koala. Yeah. And yeah. I totally didn't think anything of it until, of course, Robin says something and starts <laughs> laughing about it. But I know what a fluffer is. I kind of forgot. And my brain didn't go there. But then, <laughs> for Donna. Are so, they on the end of the bus, y'all? So, so listen. So listen. So, so tonight, 
I had Robin on, um, I was video chatting with her on the phone and my husband was watching TV. And I said to my husband, do you know what a fluffer is? And my husband said, no. And Robin was like, he doesn't know what a fluffer was. And she was live. She heard him. He had no idea. I said, look it up. <laughs> he looked it up and he read it. He had no idea what it meant either. I guess I mean, we lived I under a rock. It's fine. I, I, I'll i live under a rock then. It's cool. I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm good with that too. It just seemed yeah. to flow in the conversation. I've watched it again. I've actually almost made another whole episode of the funnies <laughs> out of it. Um, but uh, I said, she said, she's warming me up for Frenchie. And I said, kind of like a fluffer. And she jumped on that bandwagon so quick. Like, yes, oh, like a fluffer. <laughs> because I thought, that I, word. because I was, because I was showing stuff to animals and I thought that we were talking about fluffing up. You know what? And in, in, in her defense, she probably didn't realize what fluffing or fluffer meant. She did. You said, I don't. She I didn't. Just went with it, right? It I've just done that. Slow, though there was no like hesitation or like right. she jumped right on it. I thought it was a cute name. Yes, it's Christopher horrible. wrote. Thanks, Lori, for teaching us so much. Also, because everybody's been complimenting about how much they're learning too from you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Really, you guys buy cheap erasers. That's the, your best cleaning technique. For vintage to new jewelry, a eraser. I told you, Donna. Remember, I told you she she taught us that. What do you mean vintage erase? I mean, what do you mean uh, erasers? What do you do with it? I must have been stepped away okay. when. Okay, Sorry, so Robin. here's an old uh, vintage native piece, right? It's yeah. pretty old, from probably the 30s. So you can see how it's tarnished on the back, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna take my eraser. I'll do the top part so you can kind of see. It just takes off all the tarnish without any chemicals and it doesn't ruin like your stones or anything. You can go around the bezel. You don't have to throw um, it in a chemical, you know, to clean it, so to speak. Yeah. Interesting. yeah. I mean, it gets it really shiny and you're not using chemicals because I've sorry, ruined two of my pieces. Two pieces that were, well, totaling together over a thousand dollars. That was my fault. My dad's like, why didn't you use the eraser? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. So, Thank you, guys. Thank you. I wasn't paying attention. I appreciate it. Thank you. The top is really shiny. Yeah. And the bottom is kind of darker, you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. And it's from yeah. And Thank you can you use it on your chain. You just, like, put your chain flat, and then you rub it on each side, you know, every side of the chain. And if you don't have like a cleaning cloth, but sometimes cleaning cloths, if you get it over the stones, it ruins the polish. So that's why I don't really like to use cleaning cloth. Very cool. Thank you for the tip. That's awesome. All right, guys, we have like a five minute break, five minute intermission. Go, I see some of you have already gone and had some of your cocktails. Nothing better to do on a Saturday night, but we like auctions now. What, why is Chris saying, bite your tongue, Robin? What'd you say? I, I didn't, I, that's just it. I didn't say anything. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Robin, is that? I, 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 you're getting sick. sick. What? You sound like you're getting sick. You I'm just just said, T, you uh, said that at the same time I, I did. Oh, that was pretty scary. That's really scary. We both said it at exactly the same time. <laughs> Kevin figured it out. Oh, <laughs> it's the eraser, poor Lori. Oh God, that's why I didn't say anything because it's Lori. No, Flom, I'm not calling you out, sweetheart. Enjoy. I'm so happy everybody's enjoying themselves. Not at all. One more thing before everybody goes: three o'clock tomorrow morning, coffee at ten. Back on T's channel at three for T and I. T and I. Yeah. <laughs> and then back on my channel at eight tomorrow night, nine, maybe seven. Could be 10. <laughs> maybe 11. Yeah. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Say 11. <laughs> <Just> subscribe. <laughs> when I get the thumbnail and the lots built is when I'm coming on. If you're available, come join some fun. If you're not available, 
Sorry. All right. <laughs> Come on over to Donish Channel. Let's watch the premiere. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Thank you, Bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you.